in here for plugins, which would be a feed, so it makes more sense. <laughs> hold on, give me a second. I can there you go. Better. Gotcha. I can get everyone, hold on. So I, you don't need to take a crappy screenshot of my OBS. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did it on my tablet. And you have to be talking for it to work. Yeah. Alright, can we play now? Yes. Yeah. Alright, alright. Where did we leave off last time? If I remember. I I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. It's been two weeks. Yeah, I wonder why you don't know. You haven't been here for like a Listen, complete... Listen, I wasn't able to. Stuff. You said that, and then you told me you could. Yeah, and then I missed it because I slept in my accident. That one was my fault. We finally returned from the Pillow Kingdom bullshit to Earth. Mm -hmm. And we got a new uh, uh, mission of, of a Fire Kingdom. Oh. Oh, yeah, you Arson. guys... It was like a fire, half fire, half ice place, from what I remember. Yeah. Nice. But All like right. that, that place legitimately got us some kind of job for us. Are we gonna be committing more arson? Let's see. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, but yeah. <sighs> okay, everyone, roll me your order on how, how y'all wake up and gotcha. do whatever the fuck y'all want. Hell yeah, I win by three. Two. Fucking <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, I, I don't roll. mind. Do I roll die? Yes, I said everyone. <laughs> Skirt. Everyone back in the picture and let's go. Uh, where's the fucking... D20. I got a 13. Just put uh, slash R and then D20. No, just do. Dot R. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, fucking. Let me see. You don't want to use flash That shit doesn't not work well. Five. Okay. If only Oscar was here to do the other. Speaking of Oscar, where the fuck is he? He's always the one that. He's, he's they always have the their one mother's that's birthday here. today. Uh, gotcha. Uh, oh, then he's excused. That's fine. He's usually the one that's always late for some reason. He has his mother's birthday today. Yeah, and like I said, today that's perfectly fine. I Rats. don't give a shit. Rats, we need to re If it's his birthday, that is, if it's their mother's birthday, yeah, sure. Oh, we gotta go, go ahead. Right. I guess we got the same. Right, you were going with what though, bro? Not anymore. Um, what's that? Meat, meat gaming. <laughs> That puts you first. Why are y'all why are y'all rolling again? For the fucking waking Jay, uh, up, dumbass. Yeah, me and Jay tied. Mm, uh okay. Ow, my hair. And I've oh, come I win the tiebreaker. Mm. <laughs> Who the fuck is Schmeggle? Schmeggle? Is this metal? Mm. My metal. When Ray held their campaign, uh, he said his name to that and hasn't changed it since. Uh. <laughs> Gamer, uh, did you do that? Oh yeah, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, because I was like, I was counting that there's like five of us. And there's only four. <laughs> <laughs> Who cold? <sighs> Cold of the cold of the yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I so no, wait, no, 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 gamer, you know, you, no, gamer, you did pull it. Ten, um, will I, um, I don't know, I'll probably just go and like. I was just blind. <laughs> yeah. You were saying will sorry, will I couldn't hear you because everyone else was talking over me. What were you saying? Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know, I'll probably just make breakfast for everyone. Alright, good to know. William, what do you do? Ignore again, chasing sexistas and go uh, making himself a cup of coffee. There you go. Okay. And af yeah, after that, usual. getting food and feed feeding feeding his pets later, to making breakfast for himself, Sir Sarah and Emma. Gotcha. All right. Next one, Rio. What do you do? Uh. Uh. Good question. Probably the usual, just trying to just like get up with Awaken Delson and go into the dining room playing music. Do you want to see if you succeed? Sure. <laughs> go, go ahead and roll. 
What do I roll? A dex? Just a no, nah, just a roll multi twenty. That's <laughs> it. Not the one I failed. Oh, <laughs> are you I wake them up the immediately. Floor. I face plant on the <laughs> fucking floor. <laughs> Sir, if that's what you want, you face plant <laughs> on the floor and you wake Dawson up and um as well. God damn it. Uh, Nox, what do you do? Bray. Um. Uh, I'm just asking I you, what do you do in the morning? Go eat breakfast. <laughs> go eat the breakfast that I think Jason made. What yeah. did Jason even make? I made pancakes. Okay. Nice. You probably pancakes. built like a goddamn like mini Pekka. <laughs> Jay, you don't even get Me that. Me Ray. Fucking you. <laughs> I get that. Mini pickers are mini! You're like a normal pecker, you bitch. Moving on. <laughs> so you're fat and strong? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Jason is strong, but fat one, yeah. He's a caller! <laughs> Peckers are known for being able to like, destroy things like tanks with a sword. I was like, oh god, I, I don't... Uh, I, I don't know. I just of the entire fucking party, you ass. No, no, you Life do not. You no, do you not. Don't. You, have the, you mean, have the most health, but that's about it. No, I don't. I don't even think he has the most health. He, he, or, I, I think it was. Health, e I, I, think I think it was either. I think it was I, either Jason who has the most health or Xena. It's one of you guys. I think it was me because I have one ninety four. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has. 14, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. 14. Because yeah, uh, my strength uh, is 18, and I have one of the highest ones. I have a 19 of strength. Because <sighs> I have 18, so, yeah. so I'm like, <laughs> right after chasing. Alright, next person. Xena, what do you do after you wake up? Uh, Xena goes to, like, the kitchen, gets, like, a club of meat, then goes to, like, the little workshop area to try to make a steel, steel, steel string guitar. Because he thought it looked cool. Alright, do you want to actually try to make that? Yeah. Mm, just throw me a flat d20 if you, to see if you succeed or not. Okay. This will be really funny, but... Mm, well... Oh. Nope, nope. <laughs> well, you, you do make one, I'll say that. But you made one out not of, good. like, plywood, cardboard, duct tape, and plastic no, strings. I it... Can I do one more roll to try again? <laughs> it do not finish. Just say it, lo it looked kind of poo poo. It works, yeah. but it looks like it's barely holding. You can try again though. Yeah, let me try again. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 You made one of the exact same kind, but as soon as you try to play it, it exploded. Fucking, it just burst, asked, damn. You could have asked my help. I'm a musician. <laughs> you could have yeah, asked the bard. <laughs> I could you you do have one more chance if you want to try. I guess I'll go one more time. <laughs> you know, my rolls are, God. I'm not surprised <laughs> though, because my rolls were absolutely like most of them were pretty good last time I played with fucking nine. Mine, so okay, I, you I made a somewhat decent one. At least it won't explode. <laughs> and it look it doesn't look like complete shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You are missing a few strings though, like one or two, but that doesn't matter. It still works. As long as it works in the end. Try again later. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna go get some water. It'll take like maybe ten seconds. Okay. What the fuck, Bray? <laughs> what did you get? What is that? I'm surprised you didn't come for the ask for the bard. Did you go like, hey, can you help me how to build a guitar? <laughs> like, there's yeah, two people who will know how to uh, how to build shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, let me try this shit myself. Like, I've I seen it know. in the book once. Like, I'm, I, don't, I may don't know how to build one, but I know what one looks like and how it how it's supposed to function. <laughs> well, really, like, I know how to build one. Yeah, and I know how it's supposed to sound, so I can tune it for you. Like, William can build it, I can tune it, and it's just a boom, guitar, <laughs> but no. The difference is, is William kind enough to do so? Yes, is William feel like it? Is, is he going in a good mood or not? <laughs> Did he get banged or not? <laughs> no, it, that, uh, that uh, how, how much he had to see Jason's face straight on the morning. Nah, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, your face ruins my character's day immediately. <laughs> wow. What did I do? 
exist. He's that ugly. No, he's annoying. <laughs> he's both. He's ugly he's and annoying. He's annoying, <laughs> perverted, and kind of a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> me, and, me and, like, out of character, All me and time. Lucy were just fucking talking about some characters we were planning on creating Either and way. how to Continue on. on. <laughs> hey, let's keep those secrets for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Either way, Jay something or Jay something I should probably mention to you. Sarah is not home right now. They went to the Elf Kingdom, which you guys have not visited yet. Why is she going there? Uh, she met a mm, let's just say a good-looking elf woman over there. She is, That's like, about it. She's a bigger Rizzler than any one of us. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's gone? Sarah. Sarah. She went to an elf kid and left Emma to William. Yes. And? I oh never God. said that they were dating. Yeah, because no, even like, because like Sarah said they're seeing, she didn't say they're dating. <laughs> I didn't I say they were dating. dating. You guys Could don't see the day. issue. Let's, uh, let's recap quickly what Emma can do real quick. She's lesbian. She's lesbian. So like I don't know, man. <laughs> Past couple of nights, it's different. Uh, one second, rat. I'm low. <laughs> I do not care. What I do, but ow. Just wait a minute, bro. Oh wait, never mind. It's going up. Uh, I'm not babysitting them. It's at 69. Either way, uh, do you guys ready to start your quest? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get one more thing really quickly. I should probably eat. Uh, let me do a real quick roll that what gear... Since I have numbered my gear what I have, let me roll real quick what I take with me. <laughs> that is absolutely fucking nothing. Make one okay, of those rolls, so... you can't take anything with you. Ah. Okay, so... Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll make one of the rolls that I can't take anything with me. <laughs> so I'll take... The new blades, what I just got, and mm. then to the clubs. I just okay, realized we'll something. Mm. <laughs> this music perfectly fits what I'm drawing. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. Shut up. Me and Bray are playing around, so if we say something that doesn't make sense, it's probably why. Stop playing! Alright, we can move on, Zara's so getting the names of the characters. Yeah. Either way, um, you guys ready to start your quest? Yep. Yeah. Hey, yes, I'm... I am. Alright, I'll just say that you guys... Actually, I'll let you guys decide. Which part do you guys want to go through, f or which part do you guys want to go through first? The cold and icy place first, or the hot and fiery place? Uh, is this guy, this place that you guys are going to is half cold, or half snow and ice, half lava and fire? Personally, I want to go to the, the hot cold? and fiery place. Boy, uh, you guys, no. Well, then you guys do a vote. I'm not deciding for you guys. You guys have to... You guys as players are going to have to decide over that and discuss uh, it. Uh, Fireplace. Fire. Let's do... Oh, okay. <laughs> Quick, you're William! Both, you're, you're William, tell your votes! You're like the- you, William, you tell your votes, you're like- I was gonna say, you're like the- 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 the, the guy that does the thing when Oscar isn't here. <laughs> well, the votes uh, were uh, mostly casted to the uh, fireplace that uh, already most of the people said that, so... We okay. go- we go there. Okay, we I guess you pass it there. One thing I should probably mention, one thing I should probably mention is that the fireplace does have ice as well. Like, little snippets of ice here and there. Surprisingly, they don't melt. Same goes with the ice place. The ice place also has, like, pits of fire and lava mixed in there, but they don't do anything to the ice. <laughs> Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. But obviously, with their names, like you can probably tell which one has most. Obviously, <laughs> either way. Uh, b -b 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 hold on, I'm gonna get something right now. I'm also gonna turn down the music. 
Hey, Oscar! Oscar is here! Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Oscar. I didn't hear any notifications, I'm sorry. Ah, I, I was just I was just about your message birthday, what I understood. As yeah, well. that's, uh, that's what I was gonna do. It's just about to message you and tell you you don't have to come today if, like, it's your mother's birthday. Oh, no, 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 we just finished dinner. And okay. I had some no, great we... fucking cake, <laughs> and I had a pizza while everyone had, had some, like, fish soup stew, which was well, so fucking disgusting. One thing that I hope you did is hug your mom. Hello? Yeah, of mom. course. Good, like... thank you. I would have been actually really sad if you didn't hug your mom. <laughs> and, and, like, forehead kisses. No. That is also sweet, because if you didn't <laughs> do that, awful. I would have been disappointed. You should also do that stuff on your mom's birthday. Of course I do that on my mom's birthday. I don't even remember my mother's existence on their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> your brother... Understandable, <laughs> have a nice day. If your brother didn't do that, well then also get them to do that, because that is... Nah, she's mean. Either way... When it comes uh, to Matt's on. mother, or William's on. mother... Uh, no. No thanks. Oh man. <laughs> I, I want know, to break I her know. wrist by touching me. <laughs> I get it, I, like I get her. it. Uh, so, Oscar, quick, quick note what happens. We're right now going to a fire and ice kingdom. Nothing more really happened for now. Yeah. Okay. And right... And rat, rat made breakfast. That's we, we, we were doing a vote thing just now, actually. We were voting to see what part of the kingdom we were going to. Because this place you guys are going to, it is an island. It is across sea. But... We also uh, want to know, or I wanted to know which one, you, which part do you guys want to go to first, the half uh, ice place or half fire? So, what do you vote for, uh, Oscar? Um, no, it probably um, doesn't matter right now. Okay, um, Aviv would vote for the uh, Aviv would 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 be like um, just vibing with it so they like sustain they they are not voting so uh, they would just go with what everyone else chooses yeah gyro would scream so fire, fire fire yeah gotcha. so it, it, again most of the people most of the people vote fire okay gotcha gotcha so i was just making Yippee. i was just making sure Yippee. all right i we guess we're going to burn. That word, abstaining that you is a... gonna melt well you have i guess fire extinguisher with you Fucking power walker, <laughs> yeah. What is what is William not coming? No, of course he is. Though this time that he makes everyone have fun, he sits out the fights. Mm, gotcha. Either way, uh, moving on. Who is the one who usually drives boat? Rio, right? Me. Yeah. Alright, go get your sailor hat or whatever the fuck you, whatever it is. Go, mm. go, 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 drive boat. I drive the boat. I forgot. I forgot my name was Autism oh. Cage. Hold on. Whoa. It's Steel. What are you expecting? Whoa. Whoa. What? It's what? It's Johnny Cage. It's not my fault. It's, He's hot. I know. I know. It's funny. It's true. Like, look, if you I guys were appeal, gay. Okay. Look, come, if you look, I know I'm getting off topic, but if you Google Johnny Cage in the new game, oh my god, he's so hot. He is so That's hot. Right. Dude, he has a cake that ass. Feel, Dude, way. he has like straight up cake ass. Also, he's cocky as hell. Has mo he quotes a lot of movie stuff, and I don't know. Uh -huh. I think I'm a I'm a sucker for the accent and beard that he has. Huh? Continue. One second, I'm googling it. <laughs> oh my god! Right. Ah, fuck! Oh my he's god! He's funny. He's the type of dude to like air thrust or like flick you off in the middle of a fight. He's so funny. He's so goofy. Dude, He's so cute. I need to get that game now. You're He's so just teal. Gay him. He's just I... teal, but in a fight. He's literally yeah. baby girl. God damn it. I what? Hate... <laughs> I have my own reasons yeah. to hate the word baby girl nowadays. I'm not wrong. He's literally baby girl. He's 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 Pookie Bear. He's so silly. I have my own. Can we continue? To hate that word. Yeah, we can continue. Sorry, sorry. I was nerding out. Moving on. Uh, everyone ready now? Yep. Damn, right. Why did I pick the unfun card? Alright, everyone get on uh, your little little boat. And we go. I'd say that you guys I'd say you guys get in the boat and Rio drives you or paddles you or whatever the fuck. I don't know. What the fuck do you do with the boat? Technically you drive the boat. Or you sail the boat. Steer the sail. Steer, Steer the, the boat. boat. No, technically when you go on it, it's sail the boat, but otherwise it's just steer the boat. Yeah. Either way, anyway, they sail continue. the boat to the island, blah 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 blah. It takes you out two hours to get there. 
It usually would have taken you one hour, but actually, real roll me a, <laughs> roll me a d20. Oh no. <laughs> I'm happy I'm not the one driving because my Five. rolls are shit. Okay. We are fucking lost. Usually, usually it would have taken you guys like about an hour, but it took you guys two because you guys got sucked into a whirlpool. But you guys got what? out easily. No shit, right. you have a fucking water bender in your fucking squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, and this is why I usually fly. Moving on though. Uh, you guys get to the island, and you guys get to the half fireplace. You guys get off. What do you guys do? Oh, actually, before you answer that, I should probably mention, uh, or I should probably describe what the area looks like. There's big trees that look like they're made of charcoal and rock. The floor is pretty much really, really, really dark red and covered in I fire, at least parts of it. Um, there's pools of lava, and... Like bu 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 huh? No. It sounds like the hell from Adventure Time. Hell? The, the Nidosphere? No. Also, the Nidosphere does not look like that. Um... What else is there? Oh, and there's, like, some plants in the area that are completely immune to fire. <laughs> Garen's gonna try to copy some of them. Imitate them. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, plants. Can you describe, like, what, the most common plant there? Mm. to be gyros. Future gyros. I'm gonna go get a picture. Do we even know what we're doing in here? No. No, not yet. You guys will figure out soon. Just say one Let's just have a fun adventure. The fuck is fun adventure with him and points Jason. <laughs> I'll put the picture of what the... Have a fun adventure not including Jason. Put the picture in voices. They look like these types of flowers. They're mostly common in the area that you guys are in. Oh, Spider can I, like, take? Can I take three and put them in my pocket? Sure. I want to pick Yay. one up as well. Okay. I wanna put it on my, cause like, uh, Rio has like a, has made like with two sticks, he has made a bun. So he takes one of the sticks mm -hmm. off and puts the like, the uh, stem of the spiral around it and just pulls it back into his hair. Mm. Okay. William just lights up a cigarette from a tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say, that. I am the lighter, but then I remember wrong D&D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I am the lighter. Yeah, you're well, another lighter. Me. Look at me. I am the lighter now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am I no. Oh, I am the extinguisher. Goodness. I'm the fire extinguisher. You know. Now I can't huh? stop imagining like uh, I don't know why I imagine the Rio one. of all people because I know it wouldn't work. But I imagine like uh, like the Rio like the size of a finger. You like squeeze them, a little fire comes out of their mouth. I don't know why I thought of that. Why the fucking yeah, Victorian no, video no. came into my fucking mind out of that? You know exactly what I'm talking about what? because you showed it to uh, me. Oh, uh, the one where they were like, did you know Vaporeon is known for be being the most. Continuing! Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. 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 We are sidetracking quite a lot here. Yeah, let's continue. Alright, 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 well, I get you. What's the mission we were coming here for again? Yo, we don't know. Find out. You guys will find out soon. Okay. I'm. You I think that they are just now? having a fun little adventure in a fiery place. Is it just me, or is it? Has it always been like this? It always has been oh, like this. Nope. Damn. Yeah. Okay. We're always like this. You guys are. I usually have a plan. Plan? What? What's everything. plan? I don't know. Usually. This time, Otherwise. my plan is to sit out and see you guys uh, uh, fighting bef without me before you guys are about to die. <laughs> Damn. Oh my. I'm gonna try a diplomatic solution this time, if it's something that can be solved that way. Sounds boring. I don't think it's gonna uh, work. But I... either, way, either way, moving on, you guys start walking through the woods and notice a little path on the road. Do you guys follow that? Yeah, yes. sure. I this guess you guys follow the village or settlement of some kind. 
Ba, 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 ba. Let me roll something. Are there any traces of like um anyone having walked there recently? Footsteps? Uh roll me something. See if you find anything. Okay, like It's just a flat detoner. Yeah. I fixed it. <laughs> You find uh, footsteps and uh, something that looks like, I guess you can see a wheel tracks. Yes. Okay. Um, follow the wheel. Yeah, follow, let's go follow the wheel tracks. This might lead to like a, a populated Maybe. city with, with lots of shops and stuff. At least it won't be like just, you know, a camp. Where only walkers are. I don't know. But wheel tracks is a good sign. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Notice my time, my alt's time to disappear from the VC. His time has come. He has fulfilled his promise. Oh. Hmm. Either way, moving on. You guys follow the path and. Hold on, let me roll something again. <clears throat> ba, 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 ba. Okay, yeah, sure, I could do that. Where did I write it down? Oh, while you guys are walking through, two, uh, you find two animals that approach you guys. One of them looks completely rabid, the other one looks calm. What are the animals? I approach the calm uh, one. Hmm. Can, I to to the Can I try to talk to them? I approach the rabid one to make friends with it. You guys want to- I'm gonna kill Jason. <laughs> Jason, uh, you're not going anywhere. Let them be. be. Let, let them either be. Way, either way, uh, from the role that I got earlier, one of them goes up to Delson, and Delson kind of just like, okay, you're mine now. The other one, on the other hand, I don't know. You guys can deal with, uh, deal with the other one if you guys want to. I want the other one. Can I try to talk to it? I approach right, the, the other one. For context, these things are known as hellhounds. Sure I approach the other one. I, I they are, they are, they are, they whoa, 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 whoa. are. I know them already from before, so I'm approaching this one. I'm as well. I'm trying I to see it. if I can talk. To I don't it. care. Can I yeah, gonna go and be a squeaky one. toy for them. All right, one, one by one, I guess. You guys are approaching the rabbit one. The one that's like freaking out. Which one are you going? Well, who's going for? One? Wait, 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 oh, he kind of just went up to Dawson, and Dawson picks him up, and he's like, "Okay, you're my, you're I, my like, friend now." Can I slab a meat at it? And okay, later. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you have meat on you? I do. Of course I do. I carry like an entire slab of meat with me. I don't even question it. I guess you could try to like persuade with it. Just okay. roll me something. Can I roll d20 and maybe like plus one for the slab of meat. So if sure, there's a rabbit too tonight, all right. <laughs> that did not work. It <laughs> rabbit. You tried to eat the meat and it did not like it. Can I try to talk to it? It only growls. Sure, go ahead. What do you say to it? I tried to ask him, like, what's wrong? Why are you panicked? Uh, it doesn't feral, really say anything. From a feral animal to another, what's wrong? <laughs> it, do it doesn't do anything. It just barks and yelps more. <sighs> and jumps around. Uh, William takes out on dried meat he bought some time back uh, and puts it to, uh, in front of him, backs away, lets him uh, sniff if the meat and, and eat it if they want, and, and then they can approach William themselves. Mm, now that you put it like that, um, it does eat the meat and it does like the dried kind. But there's something else that's bugging it. Do any of you guys try to observe the yes, creature? Yes, I, I try. Same. I, I do try to observe it now that All I right. technically it's closer to me now. I can see cl more clearly. All right, I'll just everyone roll me a d20. Like whoever like wants to actually figure something out that's wrong with the dog. Shit. Will oh, you get a plus a, five though? Happened. I got a sixty. What Wait, the I got what? You get a plus five on your roll though. Because you were the one that uh, fed the dog and got it to okay, calm well, down got, a bit. Well, I got a 16. I got the highest roll. Uh, 20. Mm -hmm. What? You rolled earlier. What the fuck? Yeah, but he had to add the 5 to it. 
Could you just add the five, like, right up. plus five it? Nah, it's fine. It's just an interaction thing. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, so shut up, bitch. Either way, I'll just say Jason and William notice what's wrong first. And you guys notice that it has a... I guess you could say, like, a piece of rock. A very sharp rock lodged in its paw. I, 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 I go towards Wait, it now that it has eaten, and I'll take it out, and after that, I, I apply first aid. Oh, I, uh, uh, I was gonna, because I can control rock stuff, but okay. I'm yes. gonna say, roll me a d20 to see how well you've actually done this. Do I add anything to it? Uh, I'll say just a plus three, I guess. Plus. <laughs> 21. That works, you didn't hurt the creature at all and it's perfectly fine you calmed it down and it's perfectly okay now he william picks it up and, and just starts petting it mm -hmm. you know walks over to william mm -hmm. and tries to pet it <laughs> usually it's not up for for things like that but i guess for you it's okay <laughs> can Zeno go over to william and just ask if he can pet only if they themselves allow. I'm oh, not forcing you... them on anything. Do you try to pet it, gamer? Or Xena? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me see. It lets you pet it. It's perfectly yeah. fine with you. Can I Anybody try to else? Ask you? Can I try to ask you if I can pet it? Yes, uh, you can pet see. it if, if it allows. <laughs> it also allows you to pet it. Hell yeah. Can I try? No. Okay. You stay the fuck away from my even new if, baby. Even if you do, I'm gonna see if it would have allowed you. Nope, it would not. <laughs> hey, Teal. It says no. Can yeah. I summon a little shroomy and like hold it out as a meat shield and try to pet it? Sure, I guess. Let's see if it allows you. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised that it didn't let a rat. Cause I was gonna have this roll be like, if, depending on what I roll for the dog, it's it has to be like above ten for you to let it pet it, or at least like exactly ten. All right, it lets you pet it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else except Jason. I, know, yeah. I give well, the shroomy. Just put, 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 put it on its sh like put it now on its shoulder that uh, like on his shoulder that he the creature can sleep. I give the shroomy to Rio. What about you, Aviv and Gyro? Do you guys want um, to pet it? Yeah, Aviv feels like uh, everyone's petting it, so like yeah, why not? Meanwhile, Gyru's like, I'm gonna try to wrestle this thing. Oh, I'll guess Gyru if, tries to. I'm rolling for Gyru, and if Gyru tries to, like, to wrestle with it, I will kick Kaido. No, but like, try? just like roll on the ground if, while holding around like its belly or something. I don't know. That did not work, and it almost tried to bite it. Yeah, that's fine. It can also be a squeaky toy. <laughs> Are these the big sure. ones or the small ones? Well, mine is small. The one that William has is pretty big. <laughs> like, mine. Decently yes. All right, it let Gyru pet it, but or not Gyru, uh, Aviv, Aviv. but Gyru, uh, it tried to like bite it. Yeah, well, when when William saw that they're there to bite Gyru, William again takes the meat, uh, like dry meat out, and gives it like bite this instead. <laughs> nom nom nom. Either way, uh, those two hell Gyro hounds. goes like, no uh, fair, it was gonna love bite me, it's fine. Mm, mm. Either it, way. It, it, it would've bitten Gyru's arm off. Either way, Delson looks at the one that he found, and he looks at him and he says, you look like your name would be Munchie. And that's mm. it, and he just like puts him on his side and he takes him with him. Your, your name is Diablo. Hmm. Munchin Diablo. Munchin amazing. Now I have three pets, let's go! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had two. What? Voices. It's not made by me, I just find it from the Google. <laughs> oh, that's some adventure time. I was literally good I was literally gonna get a picture. I was just about to get a picture and to tell you what they look like. It's a guy room. Well, you can still they're do pretty that. much this. I was gonna say they're pretty much this thing. Nice. Nice. 
the fucking I knew it already Uber. because you watched the episode just a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, the episode was so good. It was the story of a baby fire pup and a giant snow golem. And the snow golem and the fire pup became best friends when naturally they're enemies. And I loved it. It was so sweet. I, know, I just so. realized that again we took the pet away from rat rats trying. <laughs> The best way I can describe the one that I have, it is pretty much the equivalent of this image. Hold on. <laughs> this one. And <laughs> you said mine is bigger. You said Yours mine is, is bigger. definitely bigger, so... You if have the if, adult well, one, well, if I were to describe what yours looks like, hold on. Let me go get a picture. Here, you see Nanny. Giant I guess this jelly one. bean. I guess this works. Oh, oh, I love it. I love, love it. I love it. Too bad. It looks like it Fuck you, right? Kind of looks like Rat's character. Now, I should probably tell you right I now. Know. I should probably tell you right now. Their favorite food is kibble, specifically made of charcoal and coal. Look, there's a lot of that here. It also eats rocks. Just, okay. It's so, a rock. Yeah. Hey, it's Jason, you become you become food. It's literally just me and dog for Jason is now Paimon. Emergency. Yeah, me. yeah. It Jason can't. is now Paimon for my pet. <laughs> it can eat. It can eat dry food. Uh, dried uh, food though, as well. It's but it's... perfect for me. Too bad. I have a feeling I'm for. one of the. Re I'm gonna be used as a like feeder, technically, because fucking water. <laughs> You're gonna say it's like a squeaky toy. <laughs> well, Dylan well, has guy... two pets now. <laughs> Both elemental. Uh, well, he has one. Our old. Well, unless he can Rio. That's well, what I said too. That, that's the joke. What about the cloak? That's the fucking joke, idiot. <laughs> what about the cloak? Hey, uh. Can I give the sh uh, the little shroomy that I tried to use as a meat shield to Rio? Why do you want to give it to me? Because. Who mm. felt it like it? Either way, shall we continue with our new companions? Hold on, hold on, hold on, soon, soon, soon. I want to get you guys a little bit more insight on the Firewolf stuff, if you guys don't mind. Yeah, yes, sure. I don't mind yeah. it. I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. So, yeah. I'm trying to find a small clip of how to describe how they are. Or like... This dog would have been absolutely fucking perfect. I'm not sure if... Actually, hold on. So I'm trying to see if somebody can stream these two clips for me. I can. They're only, hey. to, they're only to, they're only to describe uh, what the wolves are like. That's about it. Oh, I can do okay. that. But hey, rat, too bad. Cry about it. <laughs> I, I, still, I still can't get over the fact that out of all the people, it doesn't work for a rat, but it works for everyone else. It's like feel, the game. I feel it's like, like I should have had a bonus. I know I shouldn't, but I don't know. It's like You're the game is like fuck you. you. Don't deserve bonus. It's you like don't the game. The bonus. It's like the game is telling you fuck you. We know what you're gonna do with them. <laughs> Which one Probably you want? Or something. Well, like, it. Which one? Just you want to both, of them. Okay, both okay, of them. Okay. Both of them. I just want a pet rock. I wanted to take some time to show you guys this, so you guys can probably see what the animals are pretty much based off of and how they act. But then after that, we can go back to the quest. And luckily, this quest isn't that big or long. Yeah, so, can I get uh, a pet rock? Can I just find like a piece of charcoal and make a friend? You have your ferret. <laughs> I do, but he's, he's lonely. He's a friend. Go talk to a wizard to make him a fire ferret or something. He is a fire ferret. When he says can, pet rock, I can't help but to him. imagine like a rock with googly eyes and like a That's like a smiley face about. that has like it's That's made of like sharpie. Do. I don't want my Are everyone rock. looking rock. at the stream? Yeah, well, I am. Yeah. This is the this is what I was trying to tell you guys what the firewalls are based off of and how they act most of the time. Rat, I'm watching the clip. Stop. <laughs> I can't wait for William to take that home, and then it jumps on his mattress, like on his bed, and it completely <laughs> burns it. Yeah, and the like MI is just there, like, bruh. It's like, it just like, like melts a giant hole through the bed, and William's like, what the fuck? That was my bed! <laughs> Thank it god was. I can control fire element. Yeah, he said that was. Bro, oh. this is literally, it literally would oh. be actually perfect for my character, what the fuck? 
Too bad, cry about it. I that... too bad, cry about it, loser. Jay, yep. that angle right there reminds me of the fish drawing you made. <laughs> the one with the fish <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I can't the remember. fish what? lens. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me get it in the chat. <laughs> it was supposed to be for my, like, uh, for a reaction, but it looks so bad. No. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Makes new finger. <laughs> He can't hold them directly. Yeah. No, because they're made of fire. They burn. <laughs> it's kind of like grabbing... It's kind of like grabbing a... What is it called? The best way I can describe grabbing that fire wolf. <laughs> it's kind of like... Imagine... You know when you go to a spa and they have those hot rocks? Imagine yeah. grabbing a hot rock with your bare hands. <laughs> this guy is like a clump of acid. Oh, like, goes so really, on the it. only one who can actually hold him is Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that w that won't stop Gairu. Ah, that's but still. Huh. I'm sure. All right, back to the OBS. And then there's um, the other one. Your yeah. uh, rat is now sad because they didn't get friend once again. Can we find another one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want, I want, I want the dog on I in IRL though. Okay. It'd be amazing. Can, can I, can I like go searching for one? And... I can show it to me. I guess maybe. Can I get a bonus when making friends with it? Because I pretty nope. much the same thing as him. What? Nope. What if I give him more? He meat? wouldn't recognize you as one of his. He'd recognize you as uh, tall, tall lava guy. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Although with my meat, do I get a bonus of like three or something? If it was dry, then yeah. Well, it is. Well, I mean, I can dry it. Mm. Like, instantly. Mm. Okay, so plus three. On what? What are you trying to now do? I'm trying to find another friend. I rolled a 15. We are, rats, we are not here to hunt for pets. We are over here to do something else. We're He's all never got a single pet before. Thank you, yeah. mommy. I roll a 15. Is that good enough? You're going alone. The rest of the party's leaving you behind. Jeez. <laughs> Let me have this one thing. No. No. Why? I, 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 I'll count your roll, but we'll do that later if you're okay with that. Even the wholesome okay. mushroom dislikes you having something. Man, I can't lie. It's just getting boring because like, I can't do anything I want to. Well, because the kid will get fucking murdered if I try. <laughs> oh my god. He's melting. Stop no. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. Oh no, man. Just make everything hot, boring. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, too bad. I'm enjoying your suffering. He reminds me of Gamer now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so true. That's so true. Big, big dog. And then he gets hunted. <laughs> yeah, we, we do something else before we do this quest at the end. Do Let's quest to the end. Since it clearly no work on him. Yeah, I'd rather do he has a lower. he has a butt chin. You need those either way. He runs away. <laughs> would I feel like snowman eyes would be a delicacy for those dogs? Maybe. Hmm. 
Rat, uh, rat is about to get friend. William throws a rock near the animal that it runs away. <laughs> oh. I wonder if they're gonna say the thing at the end, that's what I wanna... Yeah, here. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna go play Slymaker. Play Slymaker to try and do a picture. Yeah, I'm gonna go play Slymaker. Are we just watching the whole episode? No. It's a clip. Uh, I was just wondering when we can continue. Yeah, we'll we continue now, sorry. Okay, 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 we can continue now. Oh, that's actually right. relatable. Yeah, there's only six seconds left, so it didn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, either way, moving on. Well, we, you guys were here originally for... Okay, uh, let me go get... Okay, that, there it is. Okay. Uh, there it is. You guys start to approach a small little village. Do you guys go to it? Oh, yes. yeah. I, yeah, yes. Alright, I'm not gonna describe it because it looks like every single other village that you guys have been to. Blah 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 blah. Like they have store, shop, restaurant, blah 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 blah. I guess the only thing that'd be different here is that there's a barn. There's a barn? Can I run into the barn? Sure, I guess. You can go do that. Okay, I immediately just run off from the group and sprint into the barn. I'm <laughs> just gonna look for people in need of help. I guess I'll just follow the fucking mushroom, make sure he doesn't die. There's, there's no one that needs help at the moment, but... Okay, I'll go see what that gremlin's doing in the barn. There's a bunch of lava-based animals and fire-based animals there, but that's about it, really. There's also there fire any... poo. There's <laughs> a human in the barn. Human? Well, there's, like, lava rock people. There's... The mixture of humans as well. Wait, are they like? That's about it, really. Are they different? Uh, slightly similar to you. Uh, what different race? Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess, I guess you could say like a. I guess you could say like a different God. variant. Okay. Can I ask one if I can pet a, a fire? One of the, one of the fire animals, sure. Uh, yeah. Depending I, on. I, I'll, I'll, I'll I guess I'm just gonna follow him to make sure he didn't die. Okay, they let you pet a fire goose. It's a two-headed goose with that's just made of like rocks and fire and lava. Yay! Wait, am I in here too? Because I don't know. I plan to follow. Make sure you if you want to, sure, go ahead. You can also Hell pet yeah. an animal if you want to. Can I also pet one? No, oh, sure. Let me see what animal they let you pet. Okay, they pet you pet. They let you pet like a fire rat. Hell yeah! It's just a tiny rat. I love him. That's. Mm. Uh, I, I, guess on the, uh, I guess on the town I go look for food for my eye hellhound. Mm, you do find a small little tavern which they kind of they do have food there as well, like charcoal and stuff. But that's kind of just expected, especially with the area that you're in. Uh, William just goes and asks like food for the hellhound, like uh, <laughs> for month fourth of it. They give it. Uh, they give you like an entire like three, maybe four months supply, and they just give it to you for free. Cause I shit you not, the food for them is literally just everywhere. <laughs> I. Th he thanks them and he walks out. This is no problem. Hope you come back some other day. Either way, you guys notice a. What is it called? Like a small little castle place. If you guys want to go visit that. Yes, go William goes to the castle. Good. Alright, you guys go visit that castle, blah, 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 blah. And... Do you guys go in? Yes. Okay. Okay, you guys enter, and... So, um... You guys see... You guys see one person freaking out over... How do I say this? Well, you guys don't know the reason why they're freaking out, but you guys notice that there's a person freaking out in there. Do you guys go up to them, or do you guys explore? Uh, I, I go, up, I to go them. up to them. Alright. Let me go get... No, uh...
like how this okay. is just plan. Either way, you notice this, uh... I don't know, how do I, how do I say this? Hmm... You see this very tall woman made of fire and rock, and they're freaking out about something. Do you guys ask them of why they're freaking out? Hello, lady. Do you need assistance? They said, oh, very much so. I definitely need assistance. There's been uh, something going on with the temperature in the area, and I just don't know how to fix it. Or, well, I know how, but I can't do it myself. Uh, well, Can I go you show us to this place where the situation is taking place? They said, well, you haven't heard of this area. This entire area is the problem. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it not supposed to is be Is it too hot or too cold? The climate here is getting very low. We need to stabilize the temperature. Hmm. Can we light everything up? Oh, well, they said there's one thing that I need to go get if you guys can go get it for me. I uh, sure. It's yeah, in a sure. dungeon. Well, I can't go get it myself because, well, I've already sent a couple of my own men down there and so far none of them came back. Hey, I guess we can get it. Send, so, send someone to do your dirty work for you. Let's go into here. the dungeon! What are we looking for, by the way? An item known as... Hold on, where is it? It's a small little white sphere known as the the Equiclimosphere. That sounds okay. magical. Let's go find a cool sphere in dungeon. It is a magical yeah. artifact and has the power to regulate temperature in specific areas. Creating a controlled climate, this artifact can absorb excess heat and cold from its surroundings, releasing it when needed to maintain a comfortable temperature making it a valuable tool for managing the extreme conditions of the ice and fire kingdoms. Wow, Makes that sense? manual sure comes in <laughs> handy. sounds really you useful and we're probably going to run into the same problem in the ice kingdom. Mm, that could sell for a lot of money. We should get it, use it on the fire and ice kingdom so we can uh, heat up the fire kingdom and there's also probably going to be a heat problem with the ice kingdom too. Nox, let me ask you one thing. What do you get from being nice to others? Money? Uh, um, morals? <laughs> you, do you use morals while killing others? Sometimes. Xena, not the time of being martial artist. Probably. You don't necessarily need to always fight people, William. <sighs> there are more peace, there are more peaceful people. ways. There are more peaceful ways to and solve an argument. This is exactly why you guys are so goddamn weak. And this is why listen. you don't fucking listen. You never listen to us. Guys, no shit, I don't listen to weaker people. Let's, let's just calm Go down. Go back to your fucking, fucking castle job. and relearn how to be uh. nice to people. <laughs> hey, hey I, I that just sounds to be like a mean conversation. Let's not have mean conversation. Let's take this after the mission, maybe? Uh, right here, like, your job. Your job. Please. I'm talking with my character. Fine. Let, fine. Let's do I'm our job. Sure. I'll see how you guys get this done. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Let's There's go into trip. dungeon. Woo! <sighs> yeah, yeah. Either way, moving on. Okay, you so where, where is this dungeon? Can you show us the way? Can you guide us there? They give you a map. Okay, fine. I guess you, I guess you ha don't have the time. Nope. How, does, how is this map, by the way? Is it well drawn? It is very well drawn. Good. It tells you the exact location. Then let's follow that map and go get Funny Spear. We follow that map. Oh yeah, William, I get morals from killing bad people. Hold on. Need I ask? Alright, there you go. Either way, moving on, you guys get there perfectly fine. I should probably mention for William that it's like around 2pm in game, so either way. You guys notice that there is a giant pit in the floor with uh, stairs going down with lit up torches. Do you guys go down? Yes. Well, that's the only way to go. Let's go down. 
Are there any back doors? No. Just randomly placed out here. So that so there was a door in front of us, or what? Mm-hmm. Like a like our a staircase. Only, our only entrance is this way. Is it closed? No. I'm asking you guys. Do you guys want to go down the staircase? Yeah, we. I got, I got yeah. down the scare, st scare craze. <laughs> staircase. William waits that everybody else goes first, and then he follows behind. Surprised, Mr. Tough Guy doesn't want to go in first. No, he wants to see that another part, rest of the party dies, uh, explaining why they're so weak. Either way, moving Sorry, on. Moving on, you guys get to the bottom of the floor. You guys enter a big room. Very, very big and wide room. There's no okay. sound, no nothing. It's just very quiet and dark. I mean, there are torches, but it doesn't seem to help. Um, let me go get a song. Mm. I think this is the song I'm looking for. Why is it playing that? It's been playing that. No, not that. I'm looking for a song, but it's not playing. I'm gonna play uh, it as a mute for a while because I need to eat. I have not eaten. <laughs> I need to oh, take my meds. I was looking for the song, but nobody came. But it's not here. Uh, what are you trying you to find? Mirror, but no one is there. It is a very, very slowed down version of Flowers theme. Like I'm talking incredibly slow. Super fucking slow. Like the Minecraft theme with like John me. Cena it's that one song that plays after you gen and when you do genocide or out. I can get it before I go. Or you can try to send it to me, and I can try to say it. Actually, I can probably find it myself. You actually... I'm sure can you get it? No, so you have to go... There. That works. Let me do something. Boop. Help. Oh yeah, fucking... After this session... Uh, can you explain to me what happened? Uh, Lucy, well, like, when I, after yeah, I, left, I can. I can. Thank you. No, I have to climb through. Due to high demand, we need to temporarily limit co concurrent numbers of instances when to keep the experience that, enjoyable as possible. Please try again later. Kill yourself. God damn it. To get on top of that, that yellow thing. You should piss, but with an oh, yeah. Y instead of an I. <laughs> and only one S. No. Oh. How would how would you pronounce that? How how would you pronou there pronounce pronounce KYS? There and then you can jump to that. The what? Twice. twice. How would you? Huh? Twice. Uh, oh, twice. Twice. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, go mute. I need to eat. Gotcha. There. Then you can. No, I. Have Either way, do you guys get an eerie feeling from the room that you guys have entered? Do you guys continue? Oh, continue. this room is eerie. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Everyone here, roll me a d20. Gotcha. Ooh. Seven. Oh my god. Five. Fourteen. Do you want me to write these down? Is it like an order thing or just like a. No, it's result? not an order thing. <laughs> Surprisingly, Jason is okay. Rio, you're fine. Gyru, you're fucked. William, you're fucked. I don't Zina. care. Is there a as well? Um, or, or both of us just fucked? You're not sure. Fuck it, why not? Xena, I'll say that you're fucked as well. Damn. Yeah, but you can teleport to there later on. Either way, each and every one of you guys stepped on a... What is it called? Treasure plate? Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Rio and Jason didn't. But the three of you guys did. You guys fell through the floor. And you guys are all separated now. God damn it. Where am I? Oh, wait, what did Nox roll? Did uh, you not roll? He didn't roll. Nox didn't roll yet. Nox didn't roll. 
you I was oblivious. Oh, oh my god. Oh, wow, you're perfectly yeah. fine. Nothing yeah. happens to you. What the fuck? How could well, you I just like all float of them down out? gracefully? <laughs> Definitely not I gracefully, but you know, fuck you. I'll just say that you step on a pressure plate, but you're so light and tiny that it doesn't even do shit. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, if William is falling, he just opens his wings and glides down very slowly. Mm, okay. But somehow he fucks it up and still gets <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Either way, the door, the trap door closes, and you guys. I'll see the Xena and Gamer. You guys are or Zena and uh, William. I meant you guys are together in the same room, and uh, what was it? Ava and Gairu, which is just Oscar. You yeah. are together. Oh God, I have to be with this. You guys also in the room. Um, Over William, Delson and his pet. I don't think William, I have to, but sure, I guess. William wow, just looked at him and like, thank God. At least I'm with someone with some brain cells. Fine, I guess I'll just say Delson right. falls too. So Rio, Jason, and Del uh, Rio, Jason, and Knox are perfectly fine. Is I my guess you go pet with me. Yeah. Diablo is with me. Good. I'll just say, Rio and Jason, you guys get across the room perfectly fine. Same with you, Nox. But I'll say that, you know, just just for the fun of it, I'll say that Delson's also with uh, with Avu. Uh, blah 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 blah. Delson. He just waves at you. Either way, uh, since the others have crossed the room perfectly fine, I'll cut to Xena and uh, William. You guys are in a room. It is dark. At the end of the... You guys notice that there is a giant pit full of... What it seems to look like a blackish, greenish goo. It looks sticky, like molasses. And, uh... You see, it's a very long, long hallway slash pit. And you guys see at well, the very end of it that there is a lit up torch and a door. William lights up fire to his hand, and he throws a fireball <laughs> to the pit. Uh, it does nothing, and the pit kind of just consumes the fire instantly. Teal. You guys notice? Mm -hmm. Can I summon a fire shroomy and toss him down? Uh, you, I just said you guys crossed the room. Yeah. Oh. I cut, I cut to William and uh, Xena, which those two are only with each other. So they kind of have to get out by themselves. If so any can. ideas? Do you guys try to test how deep the pit is? Uh, What's something that screams that won't die when we throw it down there? Jason? I if <laughs> if I I will throw them to the pit. William, <laughs> can you can you throw it over there? I know I'm fucking with you. Jay said, Gyru. And we find Jason. That's true. Technically, you could have thrown Gyro, but Gyro isn't there with them. This is a completely different yeah. room. Well, Zena, any ideas? I... Because, like I said, I let you guys handle this place, and I help if it, I mm. just must. I guess I could Zena like Zena turn their musk. turn their uh, gloves into Zena the musk. flail form and just tuck it down there, see what happens. Uh. Let me roll for something. Well, I'll say you hear a bottom, but you're, you, you do notice that there's a bottom. Your flail does hit it, and it seems to be like around uh, the weird sicky goo could be around. I'd say like waist length. Okay. But. Then. But you do notice your flail does get a little stuck. You can try to forcibly grab or pull it out. Might or take a little bit of time. Transform it back into gloves. Oh yeah, you could do that too. I forgot. Yeah, You're no. fine then. You can just try to walk through. William just grabs Diablo and flies over to the other side. Like, well, well, I damn. guess that's fine. Am I on the other side or no? No. You're not like no, the same you're room. Even, you're not even there. Oh right, I thought I forgot. Oops, Daisy. Lucy Daisy. Either yes. ways, you know what do you try to do? Hmm. <laughs> I guess one thing I could pro I should probably mention there are a few boxes, corpses, and 
Fletches, you could probably you hop onto. I guess I'll try to hop Use onto the. the <laughs> Okay, let's see if you make it halfway. Roll me a, just a normal. Actually, we're good for dex roll. Should I, should I was gonna say, should I make a dex? I think I should a make a dex roll. Yeah. Alright. Oh. William just sits down and lights a cigarette, waiting for Cena. So you're just like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, probably doesn't make it. That way, that far through, but it's decent. Let me see. Ten. You may, you don't make it halfway, but you almost do fall. You uh, one of your little uh, glovies fall in and fall in, but that probably shouldn't be a problem. I mean, Zena can just pull it back, so. Exactly. So I was like, that's well, probably not a problem. William just looks at Zena and then shouts, "If you obey me, throw me an offer and I will help you out." What? I think I should be enough. fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did the gamer say? I didn't hear because of, said, of rat. They said <laughs> they think they should be fine. All right. Um, all right. All right. Continue smoking. Continue smoking. <laughs> okay, I guess do I just roll again to see if I can get Roll again if you can at least make it halfway by jumping across the little boxes corpses and ledges here and there oh okay well i'll say with that you do make it halfway but you almost fall face first <laughs> william oh, slams his face to the ground and makes, makes uh, roots and trees grow out and, and reach you know? hmm. <laughs> he's just like thanks william i'm not Either letting way. my only my only yeah, friend man. die it wasn't I... I don't think the liquid wolf killed me but thank you you know, it just goes across the vines. Either way, you, uh, you're almost there. Just we'll keep rolling decks and what's we'll see. I, see what, I, how it goes. I legitimately gave them a pathway with wood, uh, vines, and trees. Oh, I thought you but meant magic. like you. I thought you meant like you caught them from falling face first. No, I, I like I made a road what made made them face plant to the road. They're uh, now on top, uh, technically a bridge. <laughs> Fine then, I guess they can take that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant you like grabbed them from falling face first. Uh, uh, William maybe has a little tiny soft spot for Xena because they're their only friend. Mm. Either, yeah, way, either way, <laughs> at least they're not an idiot. I guess they complete the room. You guys can celebrate a little bit, blah 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 blah, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. But then, well, just, just you guys for Xena. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you guys just like high five. Because you're like, yeah. And then, mm. either way, moving on. We go to, uh, what is it? Uh, Gairu, Aviv, and Delson. You guys are stuck in a room too. The best way I can describe that you, your room is in, it's similar to the one that William and Zeno were in. You guys don't know that, obviously. But it's another narrow hallway. There's no pit. But it's very dark. You notice the floor has pressure plates and that there's holes on the floor. What do you guys do? Hey, Gairu, uh, get ready to shoot one of your seed things. Okay. Says Gairu. And then mm. Aviv takes a uh, hold of Gairu's body and holds his head and then. Uh, makes a reload sound, and then opens the mouth and just goes, and then Gairu <laughs> shoots a seed with like a, um... At one of the plates? Uh, no, just on the roof so they can climb up again. Oh. <laughs> when I, when I imagine Gairu throwing like the seed thing out of his mouth, I could just imagine the fucking seed sound. Just a with, like, more, uh, just thunk. Thunk. That'd be like... You threw it at the roof? Yeah, so you can climb up. Because, like, the seeds, they grow into, like, these, um... What's it called? Um... Oh, they're, like... Oh, vines. These vines, yeah. Mm. And, like, a big, strong vine goes from, like, the roof and all the way down, so you can climb up again. Hmm. Okay. So, who goes across them? 
Um, no one goes across. We just climb up. Mm. It's at the roof. Like, you know, from where we fell? Or did, it, did the top, like, close up? No, the top closed up. That's a Oh, meant. okay. Okay. Because I thought you meant, like, you were, you made, like, a small little vine across mm -hmm. the room, and you were going to try to, like, I guess you could say climb oh, yeah. across the room without touching plates or something. No, my fault. I didn't hear you saying that the roof closed You're up fine. again. You're fine. You're um, fine. Either way. What yeah, do you okay, do? then, um, I'm going to throw Gyra out there. She's gonna throw Gyro <laughs> on one of the pressure plates? Yeah. Do it. Uh, sure, I guess. Let me... If you want to, sure. Okay, let me roll something. Wee. Okay. You throw him not that far, surprisingly. He lands on a pressure plate and spikes come out. None of them in his area. <laughs> you okay, spikes. Gyro? Yep, I'm fine. Ooh, pointy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I did the thing. Throw another one. Across the room, uh, you'd notice that there is a small little, uh, like, I guess you could say, like, tablet with, that shows where to step on, but you can barely see it. Hey, I think there's a manual here now to get over. No. Can you, can you read? Yesterday? No. Today. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, I'm illiterate. Okay, I'm illiterate. um... Gary, I like you... I'm saying, I forgot how to breathe. <laughs> uh, I forgot to take two glasses. I forgot. Gary, could you make a vine and just like throw the tablet over here? I can try. And then Gyru <laughs> shoots a beanie on it, uh, so vines grow out of it, and then like reaches for it and like sledgehammers it over to Aviv. Hmm. Oh, one thing I should probably mention about Gyru, uh, I'll say he has a healing factor. Yeah. He'll heal, yeah. He, he's probably fine from these things. Probably. Mm -hmm. I yeah, no I imagine from all the dam it. danger he throws himself into. Mm-hmm. He has one for now. Either way. Um, how do I say this? <laughs> what, do you want Gyru to just throw back the tablet to you, or do you want him to yeah. read it? <laughs> No, throw the travel oh, back. Gyro. Yes, let I guess. Hammer it. You know, you know right, Hulk, well, Hulk, Hulk with Loki in the Avenger movie? Sure. And like, only throw once and with, like, a rope. Hold on, I'm gonna do a roll for Gyro really quickly. I wanna try something. Well, okay, okay, he throws it perfectly fine. If he got something under a 10, I was probably gonna have him, like, break it. <laughs> and hit one of his pressure plates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Either way, you're fine. He throws it to you, no problem. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Gyru. No problem. And Gyru's just gonna examine more of the spikes. Meanwhile, Aviv reads the manual. Or the tablet. This is like that one mini- It's like that one mini game in Fall Guys, where you have to figure out, like, what things to step on. Oh yeah, fuck that. Oh, <laughs> like that. I'm gonna jump and then dive in the air. The Fall Guys soundtrack starts playing in the background. <laughs> No. Either way, <laughs> little either little way, beans fall from the roof. Either way, uh, you and woo. Either yeah. way, you, you, you Delson and Guy, you read the tablet. No, uh, not Guy, Guy's in the spikes. Oh uh, yeah, all right, fine. You and Delson read the tablet. Do me a favor. I want mm -hmm. you to roll. Um, would it be wisdom? I don't know. I'm trying to see. Like, I want to know how much uh, or how well you've actually read the tablet to see if you it's can figure out this good. puzzle or not. It'd oh, be yeah. Like, did you understand the content it, it, correctly? It, it the Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the wisdom. Oh, okay. I'd say, I'd say it's, you've acknowledged at least half of the tablet. Like, you know the puzzle. You know how to get halfway. Okay, I get the gist of it. I'm just gonna try something out. Um, and then I just go half the way. Stupid. I'll Delson, say you get... Do you get something out of this? Well, let's see if he does. He understands... At, yeah, he gets halfway. One more. <laughs> he, he gets... He understands, like... Oh, he, the thing is, he didn't... Um, what is it called? I'll just say that you solved half of the puzzle, and he mm -hmm. solved the other half. But he wants to try something really quickly. Okay. 
He grabs Gyru. Uh huh. And he th and he throws oh. him at a pressure at a pressure plate that isn't marked. And, uh, and, a pl and the plates do uh, activate and they stab Gyru, but Gyru is perfectly fine. He's just oh, impaled. He's he's yeah. like impaled. <laughs> he's impaled, but it doesn't hurt, and he's perfectly fine. I was like, "Show me over there." Impaled in the bust. So Delson looks at you and he says, "I have a feeling we probably could have just used Gyru to touch the plates that didn't work, and then figure it out from there." Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew you were gonna post that. I knew you were gonna post that. <laughs> Delson was here entirely. God. <laughs> Do the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just have a feeling it could have worked. Imagine just throwing like him on plates that just oh, activate that. and stab him. And if we throw him on a plate that doesn't stab him, then we go on that one. Yeah. It's just, it, I feel like the room would be full of. I'd be like, don't, don't. By the way, you guys not a streamer. Have... I feel like Except he'd just be when... impaled and just be like, "Look, I'm impaled." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, it is, it's just like that one scene from oh, Frozen. Wow. We have it on voiceless. Oh wait, you already found it. Uh huh. And that—that's that's the, the thing that thing. we we thought alike. Jay I'm said that's the thing I doubled. screamed about. I knew we were gonna do that. I'm just imagining oh, look, you're just I'm like. Impaled. I'm just imagining just hearing like a thunk, then a. <laughs> Anyways, we go to the next room. Uh, if we go to the next room, I guess you guys like high five or something and giggle about like how you guys solved it. But now More we cut like to Rio me. and but now we go cut to Rio, Jason, and Knox. You guys pass the room perfectly fine without a problem. Uh, <clears throat> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was her mic. That's that the, was... the sound they make when they unmute. Yeah, that's the sound oh. when I unmute and like if it sounded before, there was a small sound before, it was because I was reattaching my mic because I would rather not dip my fucking mic in my tea. <laughs> nah, oh, dude, no good. balls. Damn tea. Yep. <gasps> well, I wanna listen to the tea. <laughs> Either <laughs> way. The key, the tea Either way. Either way, we go to the next room that Jason, Rio, and Nox are in. You oh, guys wow. look at this room and it looks like a kindergarten for some reason oh Looks, no you see lots you see lots of tables lots of plushies and i mean a lot of plushies at least like 20 of them <laughs> no okay did you call before look... clean their room again <laughs> they, look, they look perfectly fine and they're all scattered across the place something tells oh, them well, you probably should have touched them i want a plushie though nox we can ask sarah to make you one Okay. But what do we do oh, though? Uh, speaking of Sarah, uh, at the moment I should probably tell you they are on a... Uh, I guess you could say they're probably hooking up with three other elf women. God damn it. I'm not gonna talk <laughs> nice. And specifically women. Mm, I don't think they're in the mood to see a down bad guy. Either way, yeah. moving on. Uh... Let me think. Everyone here, roll me decks. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta open up my character sheet. You mean those who are in that room? Yeah, I yeah, got a yeah, everyone in that room. I got 17. You're fine, then. I burned my tongue. God. Uh, uh, Oscar, I'm not gonna not use Oscar, not us. No, not, 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 not you, not okay. you. But the people that were in that room, uh, roll And me, decks. Jason, and Nox. Mm -hmm. so yeah, Jason, Nox, and Rio. Rio, you're fine. I don't I, even I need to open, open my yeah, fucking okay. sheet for that. I remember I have plus five in Dex because I'm Dex build. <laughs> so it's roll d20, right? Yep. d20 plus your Dex. Yeah. Uh, like your dexterity. Uh, remember the d in there. Oh yeah, I forgot. The, I rolled a really high will do math. I don't know what my Dex is. Well, like what number you know. does your uh, your like, number? Twenty-three. Oh. Can you shut up for a moment? I'm trying to help. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bray here. Remember where my stats were. That's the problem. So if you, if you find the numbers of your like stats, remember that if it's ten, it's zero. That's if that. it's twelve, it's plus one. Fourteen plus two, and so on. 
Either way, even if his dex was a plus five, he would not have made it anyways. Okay, I'm not gonna do the math then. It's so, I so I'll just say, in the most silliest way possible, Nox sees a very big Kirby plushie, and he looks at it, and he's like, oh my god, I wanna hug it, and he goes hug, he goes to hug it. Can Everyone else to... passes a- Can I gets try to, the end to stop Nox? <laughs> if you want to, sure, go ahead. What do I roll? This is gonna be very hard to persuade just, me, as I love just, Kirby. Just a normal d20, that's it. For, for now. I freaking Seven. love Kirby, Shit. real life and it not. It doesn't, doesn't work well. Either way, you hug the plushie and you uh, realize that it starts to change and you throw the plushie on the ground. You uh, realize it starts to change a lot. The plushie starts to rip open and you see like this weird green goopy like creature. It has no feet. It looks like it floats. Uh, it has very dark greenish goopy skin. It has rabid sharp teeth. No eyes. Um, that's about it, really. Oh, they have very long flail arms. Uh, like, I guess you could say, like, skinny arms. Would they be weak to electricity just by visuals? I feel like they would be weak by almost anything, but they just, they don't, they can't see anything, but they eat a lot. Can, summon uh, can they hear us? Can they hear us? They, they can hear. Can I summon an, uh, an electricity shroomy and, like, Put it on the table and tell it to scream. I guess you could do that. I can allow that. If, you're fucking... if it doesn't yeah. work, I'm going like, to be really the... bomb just in case. <laughs> whatever mm. the shroomy type is, their effect acts afterwards, so it'll just get shocked. Mm. If that doesn't do... work, Ria already creates just like a small bomb on his hand, just do in you case. Throw it at... Do you throw it at the creature? I don't throw it at the king. Uh, do not no. you, not you, not you. I meant, I meant, uh, Nox. I meant, Nox. Yeah. Uh, I lightly, I very quietly put it on the desk and then like command it to just scream as loud as possible. Mm. It screams really loud and whatever it, it did. I guess, I guess the best way I can describe what it did to the little creature you summoned, it grabbed it, popped it with its bare hands, and then just proceeded to eat it. No, like, oh. I mean, like, physically pop. Like, I'm talking, so, imagine, uh, imagine, like, like Attack on Titan. Up. No, like, imagine, like, Attack on Titan. Imagine when a Titan grabs a person, instead of eating it, they just squeeze the person so hard, they physically pop. That's terrifying. So, does... Do they still get, like, electrified? Um... They did not get electrified, but they did start to burn, because remember, part of them was still that plushy, and you notice that they are incredibly flammable. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have Can an idea. I try to... Love at it. No, no, no. Can I try no, to no, summon... No, no. Like, Rhea asked, like, Nox and, uh, what is it then? Nox and Jason, and she's like, like, asked them to, like, quietly to just turn towards him, because he has a small plan. Yes, he, he like he doesn't want to touch anyone because he he, he still has the bomb in his hand, <laughs> mm. and he has then, like Jason I mean, and uh, Jason and Nox and just goes like I'm I can like I can throw the bomb to distract it, but mm. do you any of you guys have anything flammable to throw it behind it when it goes way better towards plan. it? I could just melt it with lava. No, way better plan. It's flammable. I make a fire mushroom thing and it just. <laughs> Flammable. It's flammable. <laughs> do you flammable. mean do you flammable? Mean flammable? <laughs> no, it's flammable. Flammable. It's, it's the same thing still. It lights fire easily. It, it sets on on. fire, but yeah. It will ignite if I light it on fire. Yeah, I, well, to be well, to be fair, anything can be flammable. But flammable. if you try, if you try hard enough. But moving on, what's your plan? Uh, Rio's plan is that he's going to throw the bomb off from his hands from other side of the room, away from them, and just let it be there for a moment and just make it explode. So the like the creature will react to the sound, go towards the sound, so it back would be like technically towards us and Nooks would be able to throw the like fire mushroom at them and make them like you know Ignite. Yeah. So we can just like sneak our way out. I don't know how Jason is going to sneak because he's a fucking golem. But <laughs> in armor, I have 17 dexterity. I can sneak. <laughs> oh, Imagine okay. you're if you fucking. If you have high dex, you will usually have a disadvantage on stealth checks because how big and heavy you are. 
yeah, and your armor. But uh, Actually, like when like loud. like when that fucking like bomb has exploded, like I and after the like fire bomb has been thrown at it, we would be able to escape from the room. So it would so... not, you know, just kind of it would not react. To, would not like react to us. Kind of like what we did in the one laboratory when I accidentally failed <laughs> the throw. Oh, yes, I made my disadvantage into an advantage. I'm still not over that. So, <laughs> we're trying to sneak out or we're trying to kill it? Sneak, sneak out. out. We're sneaking out, oh. but we're trying to light it up to kind of distract it so we have more time. So it would well, not I mean, I feel us. like if we light it up, it's gonna, it's gonna die anyways, because... Oh, that like fucker. You, like you said... Like you said, they're pl they're pl they're still they're still part plushy, and mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna go on fire fast. So, so what do we do? What is, the first step of the plan is again? Uh, Rios is like like he doesn't much speak, but he shows that I'm going to throw the bomb across the room. When it turns around, throw the bomb at them to make it explode, so we can leave. Okay. Quietly. The and then, like, start... he puts his hand, like, put, like shows with his hands, like, quietly. <laughs> Actually, quietly. Do you want to try to okay. throw the bomb now? Yes. So, before the plane starts, I summon a fire shroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you throw the bomb. Ryo makes, like, a, this, like, the bomb that he made is, like, about the size of his palm, so it's not, like, big, and it's not heavy, so it can just fucking fly. <laughs> yeah. By the way, do you throw the bomb now? Yes. All right, throw me a flat d20. Oh god, no. Shit. <laughs> ah, I got a. It block. doesn't go. It doesn't go pretty far. So, but you do have another chance to pick it up and throw it again. I'm gonna do that. So, oh god. Even if it doesn't go far, we can still light it up. No, like yes. if it, the, technically, if it's I would it's burning no matter what. Yeah, well, it's water, so <laughs> it's a water bomb. But like that's that's not the reason why it's not blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to throw it at him. I'm going to throw it away you from it, so it just it. makes a sound that just splashed an explosion. So it would just go You're towards gonna, it. I, like I said, you have another chance to throw it again. I'm gonna throw it again. So just normal. So this is the. Yeah, just a yep. D20. This will determine oh, distance. Shit. All right, you did, you did a lot better. I'll say that. It went pretty far. It didn't make it to the other side. It's more like halfway. But that's it. You can no longer that's get good. to it. But I'll say the bomb does explode and most of the creatures wake up. Oh no! There's more. Oh no! For all of them. There's about like at least twenty of them. Oh. Uh, yeah. What okay, do you I don't guys Ryo, do? Ryo turns to no I don't think I can those. summon that many shroomies. I'll just like, take the room of lava. Summon... Guys, I, I can, I can just like, summon... take the room of lava. Technically, yeah, you well, can do that. Well, yeah, I'm I don't a know plant why the fuck we're using these when I have lava. I'm a plant and I burn fast, which is why I wanted to use the shrooms and not lava. This will work a lot better. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Jason, I mean, Jason, Jason, one, Jason. Of my... Morad. one of the shroom types is like a floaty what? thing. I could. Try to summon like two and grab onto them, but I don't think it'd work that well. My next yeah, idea, my next idea is like, Jason, you can, can you technically make a lava wall, and I can try it, so I could just become obsidian. Mm, so yeah. we, if the like, now that the bomb is about to explode, uh, what if all of the like creatures go there, and you, after they have like reacted to the bomb and our bombs has been sent there. You make a lava wall and I can just blast it with water so it becomes obsidian wall and they would not be able to come after us from there. Alright. That's what I'm good. Wait, I have an idea. Solid. Your Solid. your idea may be better, but also I can make like a rock shroom and then just toss it. So they can't eat it as quick and all of them will like hug. Oh, but that's around only it. gonna strike one. There's twenty. Yeah, but like I said, well, it's a I rock. Said... It's gonna be pretty loud. Yeah. I want to be honest with you. I have a feeling that they wouldn't even be able to hear Nox because of how tiny is he is. Imagine like the footsteps on that. Yeah. 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 If I couldn't trigger a, a pressure plate at all, 
Like, I walked over it. I, I feel like I'd be able to avoid him. Well, it's up to you if you want to find out. If you can walk so a little bit, if you can walk a little bit towards them quietly, and throw the rock it's... by the bomb to or say, if you towards wanna... the wall behind the bomb, so they can just kind of go there because the bomb has not yet exploded. Because yeah. I just it's threw just it. Living... I threw it, it's but it's not exploded room. yet. I, s I said it exploded. <laughs> oh, so, I only so managed to go I... there, and I exploded it a little bit later because there's like a would be a tiny like timing. By the way, all it really did was just ha wake everyone up. Okay. Either way, so... you could try to figure out if you could just run there without a problem. You would have to roll me a d20 plus your dex. I don't know my stats, so... You really I'm, waiting that you, I'm waiting that you send them to me so I can legitimately help you out. I'm trying to roll my stats right now. That's what I'm working on. I thought I would made you roll your stats a long time ago. I lost the stat. I don't know where they are now. Did, uh... they, send, did they send it to you in the DMs? I'm assuming they did. Go say so if you have sent them in the DMs, so you can go to the search. DMs. You can go to the and search bar and, and, yes, and, and just send them to me. I I can and go quick make them simple. Because yeah. it's just okay, way too late well, to reroll your stats. I mean, right, no. I know the stats are somewhere in my DMs because, uh, like one of the uh, DMs Grace sent me was like all of the stat like t like strength, dexterity, constitution, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I'm I looking for them right now. Like, you can also go to the search bar in the DMs and just write, for example, dex or something. And it will show anything that has dex in it. Like, all the messages related to dex. In... In your... Server you... or in DMs? I found them. I found them. I found them. Yeah. I already found them. I found them. He has, he has... I already found them. He has 13 in dexterity. Okay, okay re-DM my stats that, so I won't lose them again. Just plus one. You can roll it. Also, put them into like a file, bro. That's what I did. I like, I have a file. Yeah, I have also on my. Stats. I also have it on my phone. But um, a question, Teal, how fast am I? Mm. I don't know. What is your What is your dexterity? <laughs> I have plus five in dex. <laughs> well, then you're pretty fast. Cause so my like side plan is that if like knocks get noticed or they trip or something and make an actual sound. How fast am I capable of running to them and picking them up and running away? It could take probably about five seconds, so that's pretty short. And I can also slow down the crew. I can also slow down. The I guess you could say short and I guess you could say short and fast. And like I can slow down the monsters quite a bit because I can just spray lava at them. I'll slow them. Is it gonna? What's the chance of the lava coating me? Because if lava touches me, yeah. well, I can control it, so I can just. By the way, don't touch William, me. what is a what is a thirteen for dexterity? What would that give plus him? Like one. A plus, I was gonna say plus like one. maybe plus one, plus two. So you get a plus, plus one, one when in it your turns to fourteen. Roll. It turns to plus two. I was gonna say if you want to roll, you can roll to see if you can run across the room, Knox. You just add a plus one to your roll, and that's it. Um, I need a, I need a second opinion, real. What do you think? Uh, tell me the repl uh, replay the plan for me for a second. The what? Yeah, replay, replay the plan the for plan. me. The so, what you said about the plan. I said I can I can get a rock shroom and just toss them because they're very you know they can withstand stuff good because it's literally just a rock. And what I think will happen is since it's gonna be pretty loud, all of the th the the creatures will like swarm it. And then I just run by. Yeah. Mm. It sounds I... it sounds good good to me. <laughs> but I mean, there like nothing really bad could happen from that. Yeah, you can uh, you can you can go yes. towards them and throw them the throw them that are rock straw. Part of me just wants to say, "Oh my god, just ha have a pair of balls and do the plan already." Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> we yeah. want to start oh, a challenge, okay? okay. <laughs> I feel like if okay. William was doing this, he'd probably have the most balls here and probably just be like, fuck it, let's do the plan already. Fast. I, I, okay. He would have been I'm gone. I, I, he would have been gone a long time ago from that room. Fine. I exactly. summon a rock. I summon a rock shroom, toss it in a corner of the room, and, 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 like, what happens then? Uh, well, it depends what you do with well, the rock shroom. I, I get it in my hand and I, like, shuck it across the room. Roll. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, just 
you I want you to roll a d20 to determine something. This will determine on how far you actually throw it. Go. <laughs> you know what? Go. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll give you one more throw. One more. Okay. If you fuck if you fuck this one up, well then yeah, that's your last roll for for then that. Then I have and to then, pick you up. And, and then Rio will have probably to forever because you're going to die. Six. You Six. threw it like two feet from you. It's not that far. But um, I can I like also kind of like tiptoe away a bit. So I guess like, sure you can around. tiptoe away. It's not like they'll hear you. You'll be fine probably. Yeah. Um, but if... I'll miss I'll miss the bad guys with lava to slow them. Okay. So the rock is thrown. They're swarming it. I tiptoe away and you missed them. Mm. Then, Either like, way. And then I just walk across. Yeah. Rio, do you want to roll to grab them? Yeah, I'm gonna try, like, try to roll to grab them and throw them on my back and just slowly Fine. like walk out. Piggyback. Throw them on your back, dude. They can like fit on your palm. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna throw them on my shoulder. Tall. Let's say I'm gonna throw them on my shoulder. What That's do I roll? So More than just a d20. This is d20 plus your dex. That's it. 22? You're fine, then you can <laughs> grab them perfectly fine. They don't hear shit. And that's it, you're just all across the room now. God, I feel like that shouldn't have taken that long. <laughs> I feel like Sorry, we could have just I'm missed cautious. it. Uh, I feel fine. like we could have just missed the entire thing. And the old witch would have died, because they're missing with fucking lava. Either way, Jason, do you want to do the lava thing now? Yep. Alright, I well, what do you do? They're all pretty much surrounding um, in one area, that's it. I'll turn on- you know how like a host has like a mist mode? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that to the hole in my palm just like missed a shit ton of lava on him. Well, I get- roll for- we just roll me 80-20. I'll see how how well you do this. 11. Eleven. It's decent. You do burn them and they're not like full-on dead dead, but you got them to the point where they'll burn over time and by the time you guys return they'll probably be just gone. Or technically, right. I guess you could say, like, burned. So there's nothing to worry about. Okay, good. Either way, you guys pass that room. Moving on, we go back to William and Xena. You guys probably want some action now. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. boring. Listen. After, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. You're fine. After, after high-fiving and celebrating from getting across the room, you guys enter the door that was a... Um, that was uh, in that room that you guys were in before. And, um... Blah, 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 blah. Let's see... You guys see another pit, but instead of molasses, it's just dark. You don't know how to get across. Is you there, see, you is do, there you, any like rock or anything what's like out of the wall or something? What's... You do you do notice a tablet. There is a tablet on the floor, and there is a small little like I guess you could say like an arch. Like a thing that you put the tablet on right in front of you guys. He picks up the tablet and slaps it on it. He slapped the tablet on it, and or it's like a pedestal, and you see ancient writing, blah, 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 blah. You don't really understand it, but you see a ghostly-like figure appear in front of you. It looks like it's trying to teach you something in this room, and you notice that on the wall that there's footprints. There, There is footprints, and you also notice other rock pieces fly out of the pit, and they form onto that wall. Oi, Murdoch, wake up! <laughs> he wakes I up. Forgot about he, that looks, he wakes up and he looks at you and he says, "Yeah, what do you want?" Looks familiar to you. Points in the ancient text. You're older he, than me. He looks and he says, "Definitely not." But that ghost figure looks like it's trying to teach you something. Yeah, and when you guys look at it, it looks like it's trying to wall run across the wall hey see now you want to run <laughs> you guys uh notice that the gravity sure. here feels a little bit odd oh yeah this has now just become a platformer game i was like well, you guys you guys take a little hop and you realize that uh, how do i say this hopping it takes you about two seconds gosh, to even hit the floor gosh. Uh, William sits down and puts his hand on the ground like, Cena, you run. I'm ready to catch you with the vines. 
Say so one of you guys can fly, the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's no, why I got okay. I, 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 I got that skill. <laughs> Zena, do you want to attempt to war run across the room? <laughs> Just much. what it is, rat. It really is. Yo, yep. that's my first thought. Okay, roll me. Uh... Actually, I want to see how well you absorb the. Uh absorb this fucking knowledge so it's intelligence right yeah it's intelligence to how well absorb it okay roll me your intelligence like t20 plus your intelligence oh, before you even attempt to no not you you're perfectly fine you don't need to do this time to turn off the tutorial i was thinking more of like uh black ops that's what i was thinking Barefoot. there's generally any game where you can wall run really with the, the like little ghost trail either mm. way Moving on. Do you know? Are you looking for your intelligence? I'm assuming you forgot it. Yeah, I was just grabbing it really quickly. Sixteen. I feel like, if you, forget, I feel like if you forget your intelligence, it should go down by a point. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, you absorb the knowledge pretty well. You actually seem confident, and you feel like you know what you're doing. You feel, I guess, okay. courage. You feel like nothing will go wrong. So I guess you can attempt to run across the wall. Since you did that intelligence roll, I'll give you a plus. Uh, if you're not sure, a, a plus four on your next roll. Okay. Nineteen. You actually did it. You actually ran across the wall perfectly fine. No problem. Mm -hmm. William didn't even have to catch you. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just fly over, and I guess you fly over too. Actually, you know, just to fuck with you. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> just to fuck with you. Oh. Damn it! Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> never, never. Never mind. <laughs> never fuck with me, boy. <laughs> never mind. I was gonna have. A monster be in that pit, but no, fuck you. I was gonna have a giant monster with several tentacles grab you. I've seen enough hands, oh, I uh, don't know where this oh, is going. Uh, I, I would have just went pure, uh, like a pure or a murder mode on that moment. I feel like you would have loved it because it was gonna have a giant glaring eye, like giant eye, and I think you probably would have loved to probably stab it in the eye. Moving yeah, on. Yeah, let's I would have grabbed a knife bringer and die. That would have been funny. <laughs> We got to the other side. Woo. Yeah, I Wee. can't help but to imagine, like, <laughs> William being grabbed, like, arms and legs with tentacles, and then you see, like, another fifth tentacle, and everyone's like, okay, yeah, I definitely know where this is going. And suddenly the whole room gets incinerated by William. Oh, man. <laughs> you, hear, like, a, you, you hear like a very loud scream from William. Nothing to penetrate him. He's like, don't ever, ever do that to me again. It's like traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Suddenly blood starts to splatter off this fucking creature because William goes down there and starting to repeat apart. His eyes has never been He's so clenched until, until now. <laughs> <laughs> Zeta's just watching this shit like, Great way okay. of describing it. <laughs> Zeta's just like on the floor rolling and just laughing their ass off. <laughs> After William oh, died, William craps uh, uh, just as Zeta, throws them to the pit and walks away. After, and then like, William's like over there like traumatized, like, oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was more was than like... that to traumatize William, come on, he had been fucked in the ass already. <laughs> well, yeah. That's not traumatic though. Know. That's not traumatic well, I don't think... I don't think he would want a five foot fucking tentacle up the ass. <laughs> is that oh, because traumatizing? Is that, there is because that 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 is very much so, bro. Either way, moving yeah. on. You guys get across the room, no problem. Uh, just to reward how easy that was, William, you notice a skeleton across, uh, on the other side of the, the room, and you notice that it has three gold teeth. If you want to pull them out. Yeah, <laughs> I ripped them off from their mouth. They look Rip like. Out. They look like they could be uh, nice. And Xena, you notice that the same skeleton has a small little gauntlet. The gauntlet has a little eye on it, and it's blinking. You want it? I guess I'll take it. <laughs> a new weapon, I guess. You don't know what it does, but you put it on. Do you try to attempt to see what it does? Well, yeah, I guess. Sure. You put on the gauntlet, and it looks at you. And, uh... 
What do you do? Do you poke at the eye, or do you like, or do you I like guess talk I just to him? Like, I guess I try to speak to him. Like, just is you alive? Like, he blinks in a certain manner, and it's pretty much like, yeah, I'm alive. Do you ask it like what it can do? I just ask it. Does it need to eat? <laughs> it does not need to eat. Okay. What are we talking about again? Sorry. A fucking like, gauntlet that's, that's don't living. Worry about it. Tentacle monster. Either oh, way. Nice. Do you ask what it can do? Yeah. Like, you're just like, uh, can you... you feel your hand start to move on its own. You put your hand right in front of you, like facing like another wall. Like pretty much the facing the place that you guys just came from. And you feel some sort of weird energy coming out of your hand. And then you notice a very big flash come out of the gauntlet. And then, uh, let's see. <laughs> You do see that it shoots some sort of beam and it destroys the door that was on the other side. And then just like stares at the gun. Like, okay, so that's what you can do for proceeding to like just leave it on. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just, like, I guess you stay here for now. Either way, moving on. We go back to Aviv, Geyer, and Delson. Yes. What, what are you guys doing currently? We are going to the next room. All right. what we're doing. Okay, we go to the next room and you guys well you guys go to, you guys go to the next room and this you uh, how do I say this? I would just say Gyra seems excited for this room. What? For some reason. You guys enter and you guys notice a lot of eggs. Big eggs. Like I'm talking two, three foot tall eggs. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa, I, I think, think I know what this them, is. But I don't think you can. They look like they're ready to hatch. Do you I guys <laughs> Can you guys roll me dexterity? Yeah. Gary doesn't have to. Gary will be perfectly fine. But Avim, sure. I need you to roll dexterity. Dexterity. Or do you need to roll for Delson. I don't, I don't need to roll for Delson for well, here. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. there, fucking god. Actually, he's, he's a demi -god, sure, but not? he can fly over literally fucking everything. Because he upgrade that he got in the fucking one on one. Delson. I'll roll. I'll, I'll roll for curiosity. Six. Okay, great. Uh, ah! Curiosity fails. Curiosity. This is dex. This is dexterity. Is like a. Four, uh, it's a plus four. So that's okay. ten. Mhm. Mm Actually, I think he'd be perfectly fine now that I think about it. Uh, I'll just say he's fine for halfway. Same with you, Oscar. Because this room mm -hmm. is large. The best way I could describe these eggs is they look fleshy-like. They look disgusting. They're pulsating. Uh. And the, t <laughs> uh. yeah. and the yeah. top of the egg. And at the very top of the egg, there is an opening. It looks like there's four flaps. If you guys have seen, if you guys have seen a certain movie, if you guys have seen a certain horror movie, you'd probably know what these are, or what they're like. It is a, it is an, it is an old. I'll say it's a reference to a very old horror movie that takes place in space. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. I think it came, think it came out in the eighties. Maybe. I watched, I watched all the Alien movies. I fucking love those. Okay. What movie it was? I'll give you a small little hint. It's a movie from I think the eighties or nineties. It takes place in space. Oh it's a horror movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> they look like alien eggs to me. So uh, what what um what uh, Aviv is gonna boys. do now? Aviv is going to use um his wings, which are like cloud covered as like mm -hmm. a shield so he doesn't have to directly touch the eggs as he's like mm -hmm. mushing his way through. Um, Either sorry, else. No, you have to deal with this mucky, ucky shit. He said he'll be fine. I have that cloak on me for a reason. Yeah. Either way, I want to roll for something. Okay, you guys are probably fucked. Uh, <laughs> guy who doesn't have to worry about shit. Uh, so Aviv and Delson, you guys <laughs> notice that there's two eggs in front of you guys, and both of them start to hatch. Ew. You notice these weird. Ew. You notice, you notice these weird spider-like creatures that pop out of the eggs and they crawl around the walls. You have no idea where they're where they're currently at at the moment. 
I'm going to use a magic, uh, magic sight to see them. I'm going to say, these like, creatures can't see, but they can you, definitely hear. Do they have, like, mad magic essence in them because if i if they have then i can use a little my yes magic sense. yes then I'm a little bit yeah. magic sense to sense their location <laughs> then you can do that awesome okay i keep walking through no keeping track of where they are and i walk keep walking towards the exit gyru keep up <laughs> you know mm. I, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Roll for is another this a thing. spider? <laughs> Barrett, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are. I'll say that you guys are still halfway, and Guy. Nah, Guy. Out of you, do see one of them rapidly approaching you. What do you do? I take out my uh, sword whip, and I get ready to. I prepare a stab uh, for when they like jump out. Uh, roll. Like, uh, what is it called? Uh, wisdom? Would it be wisdom to prepare yourself for something like this, or would it be dexterity? Uh, or is it constitution? Technically, technically, this is just a radiant action, which means they don't need to roll before they jump, and then they roll an attack roll. Alright, then you just roll me a d20. Not 20! 20. Okay, well, then you're, well, then you're fine. It doesn't jump on your face. Or, well, it attempts to, and, uh... I stab it. Yeah, it you stab it and it curls up like a spider. Ew. <laughs> I just, like, do a quick motion with the sword to make it like fall off the blade, and then I <laughs> just like shake it a bit to get the blood off, and then the I dry it and put it back in my uh, sleeve. Like the blood, blood is sleep. green and slightly acidic. That's the first time I've used the sword. It was, <laughs> it was for a spider. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm, right. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna roll one more, one more, one more time. No, that's not how you do that. Nineteen. All right. I have another. Actually, you know, I would say Delson gets approached by one. Didn't they say there was two? Uh, another one starts to approach him. Uh, let's roll Dex. Delson, be prepared. There's a spider coming. He's for you. fine. Okay, it does not kill him. The cloak sees it immediately and is like, "Ew, oh, yucky!" And it, it and it impales it. The cloak impales it. Yeah. The cloak impales it. The cloak is what sentient. Kind of the cloak is sentient. Yeah, and it just impales it. Like, Ew, yucky, yucky spider. You know, I heard a tale of someone called like Doctor Strange or something who apparently has a similar cape. It's yeah. pretty, yeah, that's pretty much what it's based off of. It's pretty much the Doctor Strange thing. Yeah, it was in, in character. Mm. Oh, I didn't notice that. Either way, you guys get, you both get across the room and you guys feel disgusted after witnessing those weird fleshy like <laughs> eggs. I'm definitely I asking, I don't know, maybe William to burn my wing covers. One thing I should probably mention is you guys notice a corpse at the end of the room and that corpse is decayed you got you notice one of those spider-like creatures it is dead but it's sitting on that thing's face mm. and uh you do notice something you do notice a very big hole in that thing's chest but you guys have no idea how long that corpse has been in there Gara's gonna pick up the skull of the guy yeah of the guy and bring okay. it Okay, I guess he brings Please it Please tell me he wears it like a hat. Yeah. It's, it's like Gairu armor. <laughs> Gairu armor. Like, Gairu doesn't need armor. Yeah. But... <laughs> so it's useless, but to him, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like makes disgusting and would probably To him, he's like fight. completely protected and in <laughs> completely invincible. Can we move on before I fall asleep here? You're fine. Maybe we can move on. Okay. I think this is the quickest room yet. <laughs> Yeah, that was the quickest room. Either way, Jason, Rio, you guys get to like the end of this dungeon, and you guys do see the orb you guys were looking for, but the room does feel kind of ominous too. It doesn't look. Wait, How do I say said... this? You said Jason, Rio, not... and me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I said Guy. Uh, I meant to say if I said Guy, I didn't mean to. I meant to say Jason, yeah. Rio, and Knox. You guys uh, find the room, and. How do I say this? It looks 
I guess you could say ominous. There is a light pointing at the object, and the object's on a pedestal. The room is dark, and there is a single pathway leading to the object. You guys still go? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. I slowly follow behind them. Okay, good to know. Uh, everyone here, roll me dexterity. Okay, um... How do I do plus one with the dice roll? Just it's You just, you just like, add a plus one. That's it, like, you 19? do d20 and then plus one. You're fine, then. Jason, 20. you're also fine. Oh, Nox, no. you are <laughs> fucked. <laughs> but Nox is on my shoulder. Nox fucking dies. Alright, oh, fine, yeah, then I, I guess... No, fine, then I guess. Off and died. Fine, then I'll just say, Nox, you're fine then. Yeah, For now. I forgot I'm piggybacking. You're not piggybacking, mm. you're on my shoulder. Oh, yeah, I'm too too small to piggyback. Well, then I'll just say, you guys go to the object and you guys break the glass surrounding it. I'm gonna uh, see will, if I can I lift it hands. up. I'm gonna see first if oh. I can lift it up. You can. If you then I'll. Oh. I'm gonna lift it up. <laughs> It's kind of heavy, but... Mm. Do I roll to Either. see if I can actually keep it? Sure. Going? Yeah, oh, God, sure. No. Roll plus your whatever your strength is. Uh... Hold on. Wasn't your strength like plus three or something? I think so. Let me see. So... Plus four. Twelve. Twelve. You can barely lift it up, but you managed to uh, pull it off. I asked Jason. I asked Jason to take the thing off of the pedestal. Okay, I do. Uh, you grab it off the pedestal, and you guys notice that something feels off. After pulling that off of the pedestal, you feel like something has happened. Huh. I'll say the uh, room gets darker, and you hear uh, whispers and growling. Yeah, yeah. Should probably go. The spirits. Uh, let me roll for something. That's not a good thing. Uh, everyone, roll me dexterity right now. Oh, oh no. god, fucking. Oh. Oh, you're fine, Rio. You're fucked. And technically, yeah. with Rio, Nox gets fucked. Yeah, Nox yeah, gets fucked. Yeah, if me, something oh, is do falling. Do I have to roll so... Dex, or do I just no. count mine as Rio's? Okay. You count yours as Rio's. I mean, unless if Jason wants to just carry us <laughs> out of there. Oh uh, yeah, I, I guess I can just carry you. Do I have to roll I guess... as well? No, I cannot just allow that. I guess. Okay. I mean, it'd so be I just pretty the easy fuck out while carrying him. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I guess you guys get to the, back to the beginning of the room, and you turn around, and you notice a very big, 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 big three-headed dog. That was super. Wait, 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 wait! I have an idea. I have an idea. I, have an idea. I drop them both on the floor and go oh. make friends with it. Okay. I no, rat. I immediately have an idea. What it's are probably. It's jamming. probably hungry. What if I just you sacrifice that it's... it some mushrooms? You notice it is uh, chained up, and uh, Puppy. and it, it looks very hungry. It can talk to. Uh, it starts to talk to. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Mm -mm -mm. Me? Uh, Rio, like telepathically. Ooh. In a very hey, dark, in a very deep and ominous voice, telling you to free it, that it needs to go home. Rio. I I ask him that like, I like does he does he understand me if I speak normally? Yes. Okay. Rio like looks up at it and just goes that will you promise to not eat us and help us out of here if I free you? He doesn't respond. Okay. Uh I have so Can I try Rio. to make friends with him? Rio, I can you ask guess... Okay Can you what ask if it is Isn't hungry? Just, just the Sterper's already in ownership of Lucifer. A D twenty or what? Uh, I'll just say this is a different type of variant. I guess okay. Lucifer does own own Cerberus, but this is a different type of dog. Okay. I tried to ask it. I tried to ask it again. Will you promise to not hurt us 
and help us I out if I free you. D20? It doesn't respond. I ask it again. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah it doesn't respond. It's... Okay, Rio. Um, I pull out my sketchbook and I and I draw a mushroom a and then an arrow pointing head. to the dog. It doesn't go well. He doesn't do anything to you, Jason. Damn, I rolled a 10. Oh. You're not going to be able to make friends with Cerberus. Yeah, I, tried, I so can. I try to well, like walk towards it. Just enough that I can like like arm reach from me that they cannot reach me, but I can reach them. And like, mm. and like Rio puts a little bit his hand out, just a tiny bit, not to touch them, but just a little hand out, and ask them, "Will you help us if I let you free?" He looks at you and he says, uh, "Maybe there's something I can do." Will you promise In exchange not to eat for us? my freedom. Will you not eat us? He says, I suppose I can do some. I could uh, not harm you for now. Can I still so give it a look? This is an ultimate pet. I want him. He seems so nice. Right, like, you're never going to get a pet this entire D&D play. The, if right, you are like that, then you will not have a pet. But Rio takes like one, like one step towards it and like gives his hand like so far that like the Cerberus can touch it. If it, like he takes like, if the Cerberus touches his hand, they're letting him like freely, you know, free him. If they try to eat it, he will let them be there. Cerberus lets you touch him, even though he doesn't like it. And Rio just nods and tries to ask, and tries to ask him, uh, like, like, what can... kind of color do you have? Do you know can what I kind of a... color do you have? So I can free you. Titanium. He says it's a titanium color. Oh, um, could I, could I do a check to see if I know what he eats? No. You already rolled ten. You already rolled ten. Suck it up, loser. <laughs> Damn, I don't remember fucking asking you. That's crazy. But I, I remember oh, muting yeah. you soon. Rhea, Rhea turns around and looks at Jason. Can you break titanium? Yes. Can you try to melt a tiny bit of the like color so you can so we can free them? Hmm. Mm, I should be able to, yeah. Don't hurt them, but try your best to try to rip it off. Do I need to roll like a dexterity to be like careful? Mm -mm. What do it's I roll? They're willing. Just, just roll me a, just a five d twenty. They're willing to do this. Ten. Um, it melts through, but it's very slow. So at some point, it'll, it'll, it'll fall off automatically at some point. Either way, um, while you guys are doing that. I'll cut back to William and Xena. You guys are in your final room. Okay. You guys at your final room. Uh, let's see. Where do I take this? Now tell me what kind of bullshit room what I can't cheat through. I'm trying to think of what what do I give you guys? Cause I have a list of shit that I have. Roll. Roll. Oh, gee, that totally is gonna help Jay. No, 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 no. Roll and see what number is the fucking room in, and just pull that out of the fucking hat. That doesn't make any sense. But like, try to roll what room you're trying to go with. Numberize no, your no, fucking no, it's fine. rooms. No, no, Jay, shut it. I got it. Damn. You know what? Yeah, sure, I can go with this. So, Xena and yeah. William. This room that you guys are in looks normal at first, but it starts to get really foggy. Really, really foggy. And right. you guys feel... I guess I, I guess one word I could say is... Off? Like, not off, more like... You have a feeling of uh, lightheartedness, like, especially after what you guys see. You guys, like I said, this room is covered in fog. It's kind of the aura, I guess you could say purplish. 
the door behind you was gone. Wait, did the dog and... come with us? Huh? I didn't say that. I, I'll, I'll get back to you guys yet. soon. Oh. But either way, you guys notice this room is full of crystals. A lot of them. But the one thing that is in front of the both of you guys that only you guys can see is the person that is dearest to your heart. And that would be... Who would that be for William? Who is the closest person to him? Emotionally? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he sees this. Six five tall, like pretty pretty decent built ma uh, dragonoid male in front of him. Who was his best friend while he was actual kid? Mm. Good to know. And Xena, who would that be for you? Who is the person that would be emotionally? Who would be the closest to you emotionally? You know, just sees a tall, but average sized. Being, not human, just being covered in clothing, a mask. That's it. Good to know. Either way, they start to get closer to you, and they look like they uh, they would go for a hug. What do you guys do? <laughs> William almost starts laughing, laughing, and he just pulls out a sword and slashes it in two. You were dead like four hundred years ago. So you know, just... I saw you die. <laughs> you know, just stares blankly like, no, I don't think, I don't know where you are. I don't think you would be here. Before just Either... like, clobbering him. <laughs> Either way, for William, it pulls out a very long sword and says, well, how do you know I actually died? And as he says that, um, because I the was the one who the killed you. I was like, the corpse starts to slowly rot. <laughs> William just uh, shouts because I was the one who killed you. Gotcha. And Xena, what do you do? Because uh, well, for you, I'll say the corpse also slowly starts to rot. Xena just is like, I don't believe you were human, nor were you anything that had flesh. So. Mm. I'd say not... for the both of you guys, roll me a d20. But sorry, finish up your your uh your thing, Xena. Xena just before Xena just like clobbers. Also add your strength. Okay. Add my strength? Mm-hmm. Uh fuck! Well fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, what was a a plus sixteen was just the plus three, right? Sixteen is plus three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I was rolling for fuck? William, or I was rolling for the thing that's going against William, now I'll roll for the thing that's going against Xena. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. You both, uh, you both get caught off guard, and both of them overpower you for a split second. Um, they don't make you drop your weapon, you guys still grab the weapon firmly, uh, whatever it is that you guys are using. But they make you fling it away a bit, and they slash both of you guys in the chest. The both of you guys lose 20 HP. <laughs> William just not okay. just the plot what comes out. <laughs> you motherfucker. And he sets his hand on fire, and he, he activates infernal cremation. Hmm. <laughs> And a a was... a I burn I burn down the whole room if the whole room can fit in the 60 feet area. I guess you can do that. I can allow that. Just roll for it, I guess. Hold, hold on. Just uh, give, give me infernal gravitation. D60 first. To determine how much damage uh, f first happens. Only five. And then D20 to see how long it lasts. I don't think that it lasts more than one turn. <laughs> <laughs> My rolls suck. I used too many rolls yesterday. <laughs> Either way, Xena, what do you do? I guess fucking... Oh, we only have one action? Uh, well, this isn't really a fight. It's more like an interaction uh. thing. I was trying to see, like, what you guys would do in this type of situation for now. Oh, I tried to murder it. 
Ah, all right. Well, then I guess we I guess try to see what Zena. I guess let's see, let's see what Zena does. I guess the fire that you try to use doesn't do anything to it, and all it really does is laugh in your face, hysterically <laughs> and maniacally. You're, you're just staring there, like just standing, like. Well, wait. Doesn't the fire affect Zena too? Since they're in the same room. Uh, I'll just say no for now. Like, eh. Okay. Either way, Zeno, what do you do? You do have that one gauntlet, you do have your weapons, I'll, and I, I don't know, you I'll can try also to use creative. a gauntlet. I'm uh, gonna try to use... <laughs> roll me a d20. Just, just, a, just a d20, that's it. It was just like, hey bud, I'm gonna need to use your ability. <laughs> 19, okay, you managed to actually kill the thing, and what I mean by that is, remember that energy blast that you did before? Yeah. Yeah, you used the same thing on the gauntlet, but for some reason this one was over. This shot this time was overpowered, and what you did to the what you actually shot was in a giant like I guess I could say five foot beam out of your hand, and it pushes that weird creature that you were fighting through the wall. I just made a hole in the wall. So cool. Destroy it. It destroys the crystals around you uh, as well. The crystals. Um, are the things that were causing this, uh, and you notice that after destroying that, and uh, well, that also affects uh, William's perspective. So it's no longer a rotting corpse. It's more of a well, technically it is, but it's not a rotting corpse for. It's not a rotten version of the person he was fighting. Now it's just a corpse that he doesn't even recognize. So uh, William, what do you do? Wait, Cena can now see William, right? Yes. They can just see that William just starts to shake out of pure rage. Mm. I activate my ultimate ability and go at their ass. Okay, then do that. Alright, let's see how much bu buff I get first. 93 bonus to my all stat blocks, lovely. Not bad. <laughs> and... Then I swing Nightbringer uh, uh, while activating Oblivion Blade. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to leave nothing behind. Of this piece of shit. Do I take? Do I need to roll for a hit? I have strength no. stat right now plus ninety seven. No, from that you don't even have to roll. I can just determine it. You kill it. <laughs> the whole place just starts shaking. <laughs> I thought for a I'll second you were about to go at Cena. You try to slash it. I'll just say that you don't even have to roll, because, like, yeah, no, from that, I'll just know you kill it. I'll say you slash the creature, and, well, uh, you do cut him in half, and it kills it, but it also cuts this room in half. <laughs> Wait, aren't the other people upstairs, like, Jason and Rio are like that? Because they, wouldn't I yeah. cut technically the floor of it? <laughs> Oh, so you cut a piece of it, and they probably notice a weird beam that comes out of the floor. And they probably would notice a nice clean cut, like, on the on the floor that they're standing on. <laughs> Either way, after that, you guys probably move on. You guys go upstairs, and you guys are in the, then are in the exact room that uh, the others are in. Other than Delson, Abiv, and Gairu. <laughs> well, what Rio, Jason, and uh, Nox can see, they can just see that uh, uh, the William has both Angel and Devil Wings out, the, the fucking Halo and Horns out that he's on his uh, Nephalem state. And you guys can anyway. see, you can just see like a massive fucking Cerberus, and we are just spinning there now while Jason is just melting the fucking collar. <laughs> Oh man, oh, now I don't get him. Now I have no chance to get a pet. You will get, <laughs> you will get, you will get to pet. The rest, the rest I don't get it, but I don't give a chance to get, get uh, that they become it. their pet. Either way, Gairu, uh, Aviv, and Delson, you guys are in another room that is very, very similar to what the others were in. Wow. It's covered in mirrors. The entire room is covered in mirrors. Everything is reflective. And you guys do see three other people across the room coming your way. Mm. Hello, people. As you guys walk halfway through the room, you notice they look exactly like you. Oh. 
I do a wave. They do the I'll exact wave. motion. Okay. Um. Aviv looks at the mirrors on the sides of the walls. They copy your movements, but you also realize that they can do their own movements as well. And Aviv, uh, let's test something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Eight. One of them does try to attack you, specifically the Gyru clone. And, um... You try to jump on your face. Uh, roll. What is it? Dexterity. Constitution. If it's for dodge. Well then, yeah. Dexterity. Fifteen. You're fine. They, <laughs> they, they don't land on your face. I pick him up by the neck. What the Gyro clone? Yeah, the Gyro clone. And then I hand him over to the uh, Aviv clone. Here, take care of him. <laughs> The other one, the Aviv clone yeah, looks at you annoyed and pissed, control. and he tries to slash you with okay. whatever weapon he has. Um, he has a, 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 a metal whip sword thick. thing, and then he also has the sand drills. He, it does not go well. He misses. All right, what do you do? Uh, okay. Uh, you mentioned the the mirrors at the walls as well as these do doppelganger guys. Mm-hmm. I want to shoot sand drills at them. At the mirrors? Okay. At the mirrors, yeah. Bro, me a, just a d20. That's it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, you destroy three of the mirrors. There's about tw there's about twelve of them in total. And you notice that... Nine left. Uh, you, you notice that the mirrors... Uh, how do I say this? You notice that the Crackle? creatures become less opaque, which I guess you could say okay. more see-through now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Gyru, can you could you could you do my favor and just attack the mirrors at the wall? He's like right on you, and he grabs that skull from earlier, and just smashes yeah. it on the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I guess I can. <laughs> It reminds me of- I'm sorry to say this, I know we're getting off track, I'll be fast, but it reminds me of this one scene from Adventure Time, where Princess Bubblegum makes a clone of Cinnamon Bun. I, I think- I forgot what the clone was called, but she's incredibly tiny, and there's this one scene where they go to the Fire Kingdom, and then they have the 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 Fire King imprisoned, and Cinnamon Bun's like, "Don't press that red button." And she's like, "Okay," and she skedaddles onto the red oh button and God. presses it immediately. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Boy. <laughs> Either way, moving on. Um, I guess the guy who smashes one mirror. That's eight. Mhm. Mm and Delson. Uh, let me think. What do you would do? I don't know. Just, just, I don't know. P punch one of them. Well, that's Rip boring. <laughs> that's, that's not how you spell 20. 14. <sighs> two mirrors, maybe? I'll say he just destroys two mirrors. One of the cloak... Okay. Oh, the, what was it? The cloak literally rams into one and somehow breaks it. And then the other... And Delson probably, like, I don't know, probably uses one of his bare fist to punch it, I guess, because I think he has a... Yeah, he's a glove. He'll be fine. Yeah, so that makes six. Yeah, six more. Either way, uh... Aviv clone tries to attack Gyru. How does that go? Let's mm. find out. <laughs> he... He, oh. he impales Gyru. <laughs> Gyru is still perfectly fine, though. Doesn't Yay. hurt him. But, he, but now they're, now Gyru's stuck on a fucking... Uh, I don't know, like... Uh, what was dropping again? Yeah, you're so <laughs> This is the second time I've been impaled today. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, that guy you're calling tries to attack you now, Aviv. Let's see how that goes. God damn it, that's not how you spell D20. 14. All right, roll me a dexterity. Let's see if this Dexter. works. You're not going to use my AC? Dexterity. Or a AC? Do what? I have an AC? Do you? No, we don't have ACs. In this we don't have AC on this. We just have been rolling for dodging. Pretty mm -hmm. much. Or constitution to tank the damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
16. Okay, he doesn't land on your face. God damn it. He tries to, like, <laughs> grab your face and doesn't go well. All right, what is your turn? What do you do? Uh, I don't know. I'm doing the same again. I'm just going to pew pew with the sand drills. Well, roll moody 20. Let's see how much you destroy. Four. Four. You destroy one. God damn it. I'm... Hey. Lucky shot. I'll earlier. say he also destroys one. So that's two. Okay. So that's Doesn't four more to go. Size with him. He could just like spin around he with a blade with it. Twenty. He destroys four of them. Okay. <laughs> that that root clears the the room. Okay. Great. Nice job. It's kind of the weird guy... to see myself like that. You know, you notice guy the guy root clone like turns into sand and disappears. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, isn't, isn't isn't that. Poetic. I expect the real Gyru to try to eat the sand Gyru. No. Uh, <laughs> you should eat the goblin with the fucking sand. You should have a start sand. eating sand, yes. No, Gyru is going to pick it up with his skull and then make a skull sand castle. Okay. <laughs> with, a, with a mini sand Gyru ruling the kingdom. <laughs> Either way, moving on. It wouldn't be you mini. Guys, Either way, you guys, you guys feel weird confronting yourself because, well, I don't think anyone would feel normal realizing yeah, they have to fight the themselves. Especially with the sand thing. Mm, yeah. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's like a like you disintegrating it to sand. Either way, moving on. You guys get to the last room as well that everyone else is in, and you guys notice a big dog. William, Aviv, uh, Delson, and uh, who am I missing? Oh yeah. Uh, Gyru. Sorry. And me! Um, well, That's you're the there too. No, I'm talking about the people that literally just got there. Oh, and oh. Xena, sorry. Yeah. So you guys see the big three-headed dog. What do you guys say? Wow, that's a big three-headed uh -oh. dog. Nox, Rio, that's and a, Jason. That's a, a big time seeing Cerberus. You also, huh? you can see Rio just kind of like petting the snout of the main head. Can I oh. try to make friends with him? Like, not what? him, just like make friends. Sorry. What you guys are doing? Bring him. Oh, we? We just, like, made mirror clones of ourselves turn into sand? I had to fight my uh, childhood best friend. Okay, I think we had it better. Well, if we had to so sneak past... Plush, in this game. We have to sneak past, blo past plush animals that turn into monsters. I touched Kirby William and it turned hasn't into turned a off his transformation yet. <laughs> one, thing, there one, thing goes. I, one thing I should probably say is I feel like this dog would probably sound like the Lich from Adventure Time. Do you know what oh, he sounds no. like? Oh, yeah. he sounds I touched exact... Kirby and he turned he into a demon and tried to kill me. He sounds exactly like yeah. that. If you guys have heard his voice, then... Oh, no. mm. I was hoping to be really? a really cute voice and you should be a cute puppy, but okay. Well, William fl flies up and, and, and just looks at the situation and look, sees that Jason is trying to melt the freaking collar and off and he's like, You want that? I rip that in two. As long as you don't hurt what? them. I can just metal bend this. No pain. Dustin just looks at William's like, What? Are you gonna rip Jason in two or the chain? <laughs> Both. Okay. <laughs> put in a, put him like diagonal with the chain and then rip him into as well. Well, William put, hasn't yet even door. undone like William hasn't undone the transformation. He goes to the chain and grabs it and just uh, rips it. Uh. Oh my Are god, I can't dog, I don't I don't know why I, I imagine this, but I can't help but to imagine William doing this uh what is it called? Oscar, you watched JoJo before? Yeah. Do you know part one where, where what is it called, uh, Zeppeli gets, like, literally ripped in half oh, by yeah. two chains? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I imagine Jason in between two chains, and then just William gr pulling them so hard that he rips him in half. <laughs> just I, just, I mean, Zeppeli. I have a strength score of 97 still at the moment. He technically could, but I'm not gonna allow him. At least, not today. No. What do you today? I was just gonna like, I mean, metal like magic I, I could just a chunk of the back. chain off and so I can like keep it. But yes, I ripped the chain. I guess I allow it. Does that hurt the dog? No, the it does not. Okay. No. Well, I don't care then. Oh, the dog's okay. Either I wouldn't way. care what you think. Damn, fuck you, are. You're being more and Either more way. of a dickhead every, by every single session. Me? The Either more stupid shit um, they do. The more stupid shit they do, more dickhead I'm towards them. I don't want to be yeah. angry at anyone. Either way, moving on, uh, the dog is surprised that one of its kind are in here. What I mean by that, he looks at uh, 
the person that has the two wings out currently. William. As him, he, because mm -hmm, normally they don't. They normally these types of people aren't uh, in this area. Either way, moving on. Uh, let me think. The dog thanks you guys for freeing it, and it asks you guys if you guys are ready to leave this place. Oh wait, can I ask him to come with us? It's not going to come with you. Obviously, it has places to be. Well, most likely going to hell. Is there a well, way yeah, that's that... the thing. They already got it. What is it called? Uh, Rio and... Is there uh... a way that I can get a plushie without having it turn into a demon? Nope. You could probably buy one at some point. Okay. Well, Cerberus, if you want to get back to the hell, I suggest that you go oh, on this pla place and they say their own home address. My mother can send you back there. They say, I guess I could do that, and they break through, uh... They, they make a giant hole through the wall that leads outside. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Okay, so William still finally have to gets out of the ground and turns back to normal. Jason, do you still have the thing? Hmm? Yeah. That's good. We need to bring it to the one random person who I, whose name I already forgot on where they are, but still, anyways, we have to bring it to them. Who? Okay. Uh, the thing we want to get the, from the fucking dungeon from, I forgot the name of it already. <laughs> I never even gave them a name. Or, well, I did, but I never even told it to you guys yet. No, but, like, the, oh. like, old man or whatever the fuck they were. It was female. Oh. It was well, a female. old woman or whatever the fuck still. They I were not old. I don't fucking care. This is how well, you can see I fucking forgot. <laughs> Either way, moving on. Do you guys go through the hole that the giant dog made? Yes. So, so just William just outside. taps Cena quickly and points at the floor where the, uh, Cena can see the Actually... cut what William made. <laughs> You're just mm. staring at it like, okay. <laughs> like, Actually... I didn't expect that I cut through one floor. Actually, uh, actually, you know, I won't say that dog leaves yet. I'll just ask you guys, is there anything you guys want to do with the dog before he goes? Yes, if I can, can I pet him. Can I, can I pet him and give him a treat? He doesn't like being touched. From well, certain like people. By a little, and Zeno, by a like, ask guy. if he wants, like, a piece of jerky. Hm. Well, I'll go with Xena's thing first. Let's see. Uh, I, I'll say they, they'll try it, even because they haven't had food in probably a thousand something years. Zeno offers them the bacon jerky. Yeah, let's see if they like it. Ah, uh, damn it. Mm. No. They, they did not like it for they some reason. They did not reason. like the bacon jerky. They said they probably um, thought it was too greasy. Can probably I feed them a little? Cream. Can I feed them a shroomy and see if they like it? Well, let's find out if they do. <laughs> I what? think the reason okay. they they ate it and they liked it. I think the reason they liked it is because it had something to do with a soul. Okay. Yeah. Great. Could I? Could I'm I guessing I... that. Wait. The fire slash poison slash ice or whatever it is didn't affect them. Can I nope. give them some just like raw hair? I guess. We'll find out if it even likes it. It was, he if... was okay with that. Can I ask you if they know anything about the new gauntlet Xena has? Uh, they... Well, let's find out, do they? They say, yeah, they do. It used to belong to a great big warrior known as Billy. 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 Rio asked Billy. them, can they be his friend? Uh, well, let's find out. No. Okay. They don't... Can I ask if I can be his friend? I'm actually, you know, fine. Definitely oh, no. Oh, I'm totally not being biased. Okay, <laughs> God damn it! I'll give you one more chance. Yeah. Okay, That's they say cool. maybe. God. Okay. Yay. Okay, no, I was giving that one to, to what is it called? Rio. Rio. Oh. Cause I was being nice. Okay, you on the other hand, let's find out. <laughs> no. I get it wrong. Being an associate. I guess the dog doesn't like being friends with people, but I'm forcing it. What about you, William? What do you want? Is there anything you want to do before William the big just, dog goes? William just my all at it and it's like, like, well, I hope you get to do better or now where you are. And if you ever feel lonely, 
the place where you get sent after my mother or places you to hell, you can go there. She will have a chat with you. I should probably mention, this dog is like the equivalent of Clifford the Big Red Dog. Just mean and a little bit bigger and three heads. Is it me? Nice. Can I ask, can I tell the dog one thing before it leaves? What? I tell them that like if you ever need any kind of help, like, you can always call us. We will always come to help you. Also, I'm curious about uh -huh. the chain. If we ever go to hell. Yeah, if you even, will. In, if you're even in hell or even in, like, the fucking ruins, if you're needed, like, if you need our help or anything, don't be afraid to notify us. We will come there to help you. Gotcha. Hey, so we always agree. What to kind of chain do we chain down for? by? A titanium, uh, what is it called? A titanium, titanium chain. chain. I should probably should have mentioned it had some sort of magical alloy in it that mm. kind of kept it from leaving. So mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, this if you don't mind. That's perfectly fine then. And it just it, mold it, it over. He you doesn't need it anymore. That, you you should run towards that direction and you should find my mother's house. She will feel when you are closing by. Mm. And she will help you back to hell. Do you have you nods. Sort of, like telepathic pathic ability with your mom? How do you guys know it's yeah. telepathic? I don't know. Maybe. Wait. Maybe... Did I, I just really... imagine? Did... No, I never mind. Okay, say so I was the only one who was like talking with it telepathically. It was talking to me telepathically, but I answered it out loud. <laughs> So. Yeah, I wasn't asking about you, I was asking about um, William. how William has a telepathic ability with with his mom. My mother could hold uh, power like that, that she could uh, who knows how many miles away and contact me, but I don't have power to contact her, I need to go uh, home. Okay, so you're, you're just contact really her. believe in the fact that she always listens in on your thoughts? No, I rather not that she doesn't listen shit what I think. Okay. Either way. Who pinged me nine times? What dipshit decided to do that in less than a minute? What? It all came from less the than same server. It, it came from the same server. It's a Q&A. I don't give a fuck. Either way, let's get going. Let let's let servers finally leave and go back to home. Either way, it leaves through the giant hole it made, and you guys are outside of the pit. Or dungeon. Hold on. Give me a quiet. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm looking for something to make this more. What is it called? I don't know. I'm saying the music does not fit. It sounds dookie. I'm gonna piss myself. Damn. Cool. Relatable. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta Better. Be carbon monoxide poisoning. And William just goes down wish first to see that, and don't tell anyone that I help you through the uh, dungeon. The Cerberus nods and says, "That's fine by me." By the way, you guys leave. No, no, like that, no. William just goes to whisper that to Zena, not to the uh, Cerberus. Oh, Zena, I think it's the Cer. Nah, okay. Either way. Moving on. Though. I wasn't paying attention. I'll send it to you via DM. Gotcha. Moving on, you guys leave the dungeon uh, with that nice little uh, nifty item. And you guys start to head back to uh, that palace from earlier. What do you guys do now? Question, how many chunks of tita magical titanium would you say I have now? Uh, I'd say about like 12 ingots worth. Okay. You, do you know how big an ingot is? Mm -hmm. It's like at least like... It can fit on your palm. Okay. It's a nugget. Fit. Nugget. Well, not nugget. It's like it can fit in your palm. It's just a little bit bigger, I guess. I don't know. But either way, moving on. Um. I thought of Minecraft. Was this the quest? Do you think? Most but likely, yeah, yes. We do. Do you guys have the the magical um, atmosphere thingy that we were sent to get? Oh, uh, who picked I, it up? Rio uh, or Jason? Jason. Uh, Jason has it. Okay, Jason, good, then we can go. Jason, did you melt it? 
I, I still say we should sell mm -hmm. it for big money rather than just giving it. We'll use it and then go sell it. What's the point? We technically just lose bigger profit. Either way, we use it. Either way, you guys. Either way, you guys go back to the Fire Kingdom place, and you guys go talk to the Queen, and they ask you if you guys brought the the artifact. She was the Queen. She... Mm hmm. I you never told us that. I thought mm. she was just a random. You guys lady. were idiots if you guys didn't realize. <laughs> I don't even anyway. remember what she was like. So. Oh my God. Uh, did we just... Uh, why, royal, why, did they they the first thing was, uh, why do you think yes, the first thing was did. William just like so, like so rude of you guys I just didn't... barging into the ha room? Hmm. Either way, they ask you if you guys brought the artifact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we all ask Jason to give it to her. I just toss it over without saying something. They ask you if they could bring it here, and they grab the object, and they put it on a pedestal near the throne room. And as they put it on, you, f you see some sort of weird energy wave pass through you guys and go through the land, causing the temperature to go back to normal. This also helps the Ice Kingdom as well. Huh. Apparently, the Ice Kingdom was having the exact same problem, but... Things are so fine and dandy hot, now. But we were getting too cold. Mm -hmm. What could right, have caused this crisis in the first place? Global you warming! <laughs> okay. Okay. Could you, could you go deeper down on that? Or... No, what this is causes... global warming. Global warming and global, global cooling. Warming in this world. <laughs> <laughs> global warming and global cooling. You know what? Fine, sure. We'll go with that then. Either way, global is cooling. it global even, or is it Yay. just to this area? Uh, just, it's just to this. It's just to this area. It doesn't what? matter though. <laughs> Yay, my idea worked. Either okay. way, moving on. It fixes the problem, and you notice the object gets caged up, so nothing happens to the object, or it gets taken away. Either oh. way, as payment. Uh, you guys get rewards, uh, as in, like, items that you guys can take back home. Everyone roll me a d20. Let's see what you get. Yay. It's been a while since I've done this. But actually, you know what? Everyone, you know what? Just because I feel nice, everyone had a plus, plus five to your roll. Oh, yeah. Aww, wow. so kind of you. William, William, you can retry. Yay, I'm nice. 13. I'm I still... pretty decent. <laughs> I still got a worm so much more. Five? Plus plus fine. Five. Yeah, just a plus five. Oh, fine. Everyone who got a shit roll can retry. I'll give you guys. I'll be okay, nice. 17. Okay. Is mine bad or good? Mine. This is how I know oh, you're biased. You could. You could do better. My, this I'll was worse. That. I remember I got a glove with a clock on it. Oh, I got better. I'm sticking with that. I, I guess. Yeah, same. I got way better. I got one better. Oh wait, no. Better. It's plus five. Better. I got fifteen. Cause it's plus five. I forgot to add the five. Yeah, but you already have the plus five there. I got okay, I got a seventeen. Uh, it's it, I rolled ten without the plus five. So okay, I rolled a seventeen. Same. Where? All right, everyone, tally or Oscar, do the thing. Do the do tally oh. up the best ones. Oh, you're okay. you're the you're Jason, the guy that does it. Um, Thank Jason, um, which one count? Which one doesn't? The ones that are the highest for each person. Okay. okay. Oh, I have seventeen. William and Jason okay, have hey, to do again. By the way, mine's fifteen, not I seventeen. I heard. I also saw that you typed it. Huh? Who typed it? Jason. Jason. They said they got a 17. No, 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 Jason no, and no, William no. has to do it again. We, we did. And you we both of you got 17. No, so. no, no, it's, no, it doesn't matter. This is uh, just reward stuff. Yeah, so it's fine. It's the same one. No, I do that. I I do that when it comes to other shit. Uh, I, this is okay. like reward stuff. Then never mind. This is not like, like an order. This is like how good things we get. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. It's like a rarity type thing. I'm stupid. If okay. I get a weapon or a plushie, I'm completely fine. Uh, I don't, I you could have just you could have just asked for one. I think they would have just gave you one. Seventeen. Which Seventeen. I'll just say they. I'll think about it like after all this. Ba, ah, 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 nah. If you no. want, you could also roll for Aviv. Oh no, Aviv. I mean, uh, Gyru. Gyru. You could you could roll for Gyru if you want. That's up to you though. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that. 
<laughs> An R D twenty plus five. He's gonna eat this. Three. It works. Three is it works for Kyro. That they just eat it. Yeah, he doesn't care what it is. Gets it in his hand. He's gonna eat it. Bloodbath of cats. So we have to okay. taking the order. Italian okay, Aviv, man. you got an 18. Hold on. I'm gonna go get thing to see what you get. I hope I get something else than the fucking grass blade this time. <laughs> 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 what I, I have just thought in and never used. <laughs> All right, got it. Either way, speak, speaking of grass play, you got a shittier version of that, actually. Ava, you actually get one, but you get, like, the true one. You get one that, uh, how do I say this? It was made by a, how do I say this? A grass wizard with many, many years of experience. This blade, uh, it's cursed, and it will forever bind to the user. And it will give the the user incredible sword experiences, as in you'll you'll pretty much become a pro with a sword instantly. Okay. Proficiency with sword. Okay, it's cool. yours and only yours. Awesome. Uh, but you can. How do I say this? You can bring it out, and you can also take it away easily. What I mean by that is, if you want to put it away, the grass blade just poof. It it wraps around your hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure if it's your type of weapon, but eh, it works for you, I guess. Who is the next person? Let's see. Uh, That's Jason, right. let's... Jason, okay, let's... Okay, hold on. Let's see what we give you. That doesn't work. Let's get another item. Um. That doesn't work either. That sucks. This also sucks. Stop giving me shit items. It's fine, Jason. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm still trying to give them... Something uh... that isn't, like, completely useless. I just realized that Jason hasn't used even once the sword they got from Lucifer, like the giant claymore. You know what? You know what? Sure, fine. This works. I'll give you an item known as the Lava Amulet. This might be helpful for you. This amulet grants the ability to temporarily transform into a molten state, making them nearly inv invulnerable to physical attacks. While in this form, they can flow like liquid lava and become incredibly difficult to harm. Oh, that's nice. You probably like could have done that, but it probably would have been a lot slower, but this one just helps you do it instantly and fast. Yeah, that just makes me better at Amazing. Right? Next person, William. What is your type of character again? Like, what are they? Half angel, half demon? Half, half angel, half demon. Legitimately that. Okay. I'm an FL okay. and I'm a technically a perfect being but, uh, in between those two. Okay, good to know. Hmm... Hold on, I'm getting something. Mm. Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't fuck it up. Let's see what we can give you. These items suck. This also sucks. This also sucks. This is garbage. Stop giving me terrible items to give to my players. Nope. Nope. No. Actually, that might actually be nice. You know what? Sure. Fuck it. You know what bracers are? Yeah. A fucking what? Bracers. bracers. Never heard. They're like, uh... Hold on. You put them on your teeth to straighten them. Typically, they're like leather Those straps. Those are braces. They're like, like, they're like, they're like leather straps that you put around your arms. 
and they oh. stay on their turret. Oh, those. those types of racers. But the, but this is different. I already have These the are... darkness glove. I already have the darkness glove. Ah, 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 listen, listen. You get something known as purif hold on, purifying flames. They're bracers that can summon e eternal flames that purify and cleanse darkness energy. But they, but they form uh, demonic origins or corrupted beings. This purifying flame can heal the wounded and cleanse the corrupted. Hmm. So, in other cases, it, it could probably make. I guess you could say interrogation really easy, or you could heal allies. Or yourself. Oh boy. Ch or may, or make a, little a corrupt scene. Or you, you can know, make little creatures. Or you can make little creatures yourself. Little magical creatures out of darkness. If Ooh. you drink the corruption potion I gave you a few days ago, you could possibly just revert out of the anger state whenever you like, wanted to. Yeah. The best way I could describe these little creatures that you could make, they're similar to the Heartless from Kingdom Hearts, if you know what they look like. Yeah, I do know what they look like. Good to know. So what, is the name, name? what is the name of this item? This item? It's just called Purifying Flames. Okay. I write it because I'm going to write it down for myself. Next thing with the next person. Nox. Okay, let's figure out what we give you. I'm, uh, Let's see what we get. Do, 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 do. You already have that. I'm not giving you that. That's just stupid. What is it? Oh, uh, spore manipulation. I was like, you already have that. I have no point in giving you that. It, yeah, I'd just be able to do it like a tiny bit better, which I don't care about. Oh, that actually does sound great, actually. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking of... There's two things that I'm giving. You know, I'll let you choose. I'll let you choose for this one since there's two really good ones. There's something known as a spore weave cloak. The spore weave cloak is a magical cloak crafted from the fibers of rare enchanted mushrooms. It has the ability to harness the unique properties of fungi and bestow various magical uh, effects upon the mushroom person who wears it. The next item being a... Mucilum uh, camouflage. This cloak enables the wearer to blend seamlessly with their surrounding, mimicking the appearance of textures of nearby fungi or natural environments. This grants them a high degree of stealth and allows for surprise attacks or evading foes. Unless you want me to get you another, another fucking item. First one again. If uh, pretty much lets you get mushroom powers and properties of mushroom stuff. The other one, uh, lets you well, camouflage with mushroomy stuff. If I if I wanted mushroom properties, I'd just summon the tiny shroom guy. And also, I what? like camouflage. If You're I wanted to for other stuff, then no, no, I like the camouflage. I'll take that. Well, and I get you. I guess you get that. I'll just I call them camouflage. I'll just call them camouflage spores. Camo spores. I like that one better. Next is Xeno. Next person, Xeno. Let's see what you get. You're a human, right? Yes. If you were to describe what type of person, what type of human you are, what would it be like? Are you aggressive, joyful, like what? Like how would you describe your character? Lazy. Joyful and lazy. That's the best way. Okay. I wrote it down in my book of mushroom stats. No, Lazy and what? Joyful. Okay, let's see. Let's see where we go with this. <sighs> you know what? I'll let you pick out of these six items because they. I don't know which one instant. Inst inst it makes you. I, I don't know which one you like more because they all look okay. This item is known as Joyful Relaxation. When the Mirthful Lounger is used as a chair or recliner, it envelops the user in an aura of co uh, contentment and bliss. Th this, instant relief, uh, this instantly relieves stress and promotes a sense of joy and relaxation. You pretty much get a beanbag chair that makes you incredibly <laughs> lazy and happy. 
okay. the other one is called the other one. The other one is called effort. <laughs> Jay, I feel like Jay needs one of those. It instantly makes you happy and relaxed. No more stress. Who just by just your lap. I need the IRL. <laughs> I think that's just your lap too. They they probably like that. Either way, F the other one is called what? effortless. Effortless, effortless chores. This the lounger can be placed near a pile of chores or tasks, and when the user sits in it, nearby objects starts tidying themselves up. You can wash dishes, fold laundry, sweep the floor, uh, without you uh, without the user having to lift a finger. Pretty much beanbag chair, but you can relax, <laughs> and everything else does does things for you. Cook, fold laundry, oh, do dishes, etc. etc. Et I was gonna IRL. make a joke, but I probably shouldn't. I, I honestly feel like every single person here would love something like that. You don't have to lift it's a finger, a you can play games, and you just you, you could just sit there and play games, watch a movie, and everything does it does it for you. It's a wo I shouldn't say that. By the way, next next item is called instant refreshment. A mirthful lounger has a built-in mini fridge within the <laughs> within the user's <laughs> favorite snacks and beverages. It can also produce a cool breeze on a hot day or provide warmth and on a chilling evening. Pretty much a chair, or in or in your words, a beanbag I, I chair with a mini fridge. I can already see what they are peeking. I can already see what they're peeking based on <laughs> that. Is, it's, a, I was say, it's pretty much a beanbag chair with a mini fridge inside of it that has all the user's favorite snacks. It also is an. It's also pretty much an air conditioning machine, or air conditioning machine. Next one, teleportation. The user can choose a destination, and the Mirth Lounger can teleport them uh, there instantly, so they can go on vacation, visit friends, uh, without a hassle of travel. Pretty much, oh, beanbag sure chair, one. but you can teleport wherever you want. Can I take people with me? That's the question. I can allow that. Yes. Okay, so now you there's three options. Chair to dodge. <laughs> and the last item is called Infinite Comfort. The lounger automatically adjusts in its shape to provide the perfect level of comfort and support for the user, ensuring that they always feel at ease. So pretty much beanbag chair, but it's literally perfect. There is no other way that you could fuck it up. If any person were to sit on it, they will be instantly relaxed and put in a position they will love forever. Like so forever, forever, or like you can get out. There's, you can get out. You can get out. That I'm like trying to do here. Which you got were? comfort items? The teleport, the comfort, and the food. <laughs> well, you already have a food, like infinite food. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> food. But this infinite food comes with cooler and air conditioning machine too. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> with all your favorite snacks in them. Either way, which one would you choose? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with comfort. <laughs> like infinite comfort. Yeah, infinite comfort. <laughs> then I guess you get a beanbag chair that will literally be in any shape that you want, and make you comfortable forever. Next person, this would be Rio. How do you? How would you describe Rio as a character? As in, like, uh... what is their what is their race, and how are they as a person? Like Teal, joyful, are you using chat for this? Uh, no! What? What did Nook say? What did Bray say? I asked if he was using chat for this. <laughs> no, I was not. Uh, I'm using another website, I'll say that. Surprisingly not chat GBT. If I remember right, you need to pay for uh, chat GBT in others, but... You do not. Oh, I already told you that you had to like a couple of bucks. Anyways. Nope. Uh, well, he's a fairy. Very obvious. <laughs> well, what's the what's the race called? That's the thing. Tabaxi. And how do you spell that? Let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, uh, taba. Okay, I found it. Tabaxi. And... Yeah. T a b i x i. Yep. Soft B. Okay. But, um, uh, well, he's a pretty musical, and it's like, I'd say like a little adventurous, but like more like <laughs> explorers, like exploring kind of a person, like who likes to explore more than adventure, but you know. Okay. Is that enough for you, or do you need something else? That isn't. That is enough. 
Let's see what we get for you. I just realized that I, I was like, I'm sorry that you're gonna start calling Rio's race at Napasco. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like okay. one of the D and D podcasts that I listened to had a character named Taxi Tabaxi. Hey, they don't listen this. Jay. Yeah. Your items. I have six of them that I think you might like. Oh no. But you get to choose though. You only get to pick one. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. The first one, being known as a musical weapon, the harmonic lyre blade, is a versatile musical instrument that can transform into a finely crafted sword when needed. It produces melody, uh, meliodas sounds when played, and can be used as a weapon in combat. The okay. next one, sonic blades. When the tabaxi plays a specific oh, tune yeah. on the lyre blade, it can unleash sonic waves that can distort or damage enemies, making it a powerful offensive tool with its music. The next one is called Tune Enhancement Movement. The Lyre Blade can enhance the Tabaxi's ability to speed, uh, speed, uh, how to, how to, bleh, English. The Lyre Blade can enhance the Tabaxi's agility and speed. Playing specific tunes can grant temporary boost to their jumping, climbing, or running abilities, allowing them to tra uh, traverse uh, challenging terrain more effectively. The next one being a Bardic Magic, uh, uh, amplification. And the it Tabaxi what? uses Bardic Magic Amplification. Uh. When the Tabaxi uses their musical Bardic abilities while playing the Lyre Blade, the effects are uh, amplified, making their en uh, enchantments or buffs more potent and wide uh, and wide reaching. The last two. I think these are the ones that you might like. Either way, this one is known as uh, magical healing. It can be used to be playing to play soothing melodies that heal wounds and cure uh, ailments when uh, when used during short rests or campfire gatherings. The last one is dimensional travel. Uh, by playing a specific uh, intricate melody, Tabaxi can open a portal to a magical realm. It's a musical paradise. This realm can serve as a temporary refuge or a source of inspiration during their adventures. I want to go there. So which one, Jay? Mm, I'm thinking about the fifth one, the healing one. Because mm. like he usually yeah. plays like his instruments whenever like people are around. So. It would probably make more sense, at least from my perspective. Well, then I get. I guess you get the music of healing thing. I guess the your. Uh, I guess your gift is magical sheep music. It's yeah. about it, really. And the last person being, Gairu. let's see, Gairu. Okay, wait, did I not give my anything? Oh, I did. Okay, I remember. Okay, Gairu. What do? We... How do you describe Gairu? Small plant. Small, yeah. Um, okay. small, like, I don't know. You have plant life? Um... Well, let's see. Or creature of nature? I don't know. Plant human. Plant human, yes. It's a good way of describing it. There's one item that I think you might like. I'll, I'll let you pick two. This one is called Forest Walk for Gyra. Out of two or pick Forest two? Forest Fire. I'll let you pick one out of the two. I okay. don't know what item you would like though. This one is called Forest Walk. It pretty much allows you to walk through the forest without a problem, as in trees will shift, vines, grass, everything will shift just to get you through. Uh -huh. And then the other that's item that's being a... And then let's see what the other item is. Mm. Do you think Gyra can use a scepter? Gyro could use a... Gyro could probably use anything clumsily. 
Either way, this other ability that I could give you is called Seedling Power, which it is a scepter that can shoot magical seeds into the ground, which rapidly grow into entangling vines, restraining foes, or creating okay, makeshift bridges and pathways. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you probably can do that already. Yeah, Let's uh, see. Kyrie mm. also likes eating things. You probably should have told me that. <laughs> uh, didn't he eat a person last camp? Like one of the campaigns? Yeah, yeah and got their ass absolutely whooped because of that. Okay, yeah. The black, black goopy thing. I guess there's just one thing I. Job. I guess there's this one thing I can give you. It's an amulet. It gives you the power healing touch. It says, the Verdant uh, Heart Amulet allows the wearer to channel the life force of plants into healing magic that can mend wounds, cure diseases, and promote rapid recovery in themselves and others. Okay, Gary takes that one. I guess that's all your rewards for now. Oh, shiny, and then he swallows it. He just, like, swallows it. Yep. Somehow he gets, still gets infused by it. Yeah, I would imagine. It, that's, like, uh, it that's still works bean. now, it's just also in his tummy. The sensu bean? <laughs> it's just like a glowing eye in his tummy that's like in the amulet. <laughs> William just wrapped those leather wraps on his f hands and puts the gloves back on. Uh, there were, are you guys satisfied with the things you got? Yes. Yeah. I can Jesus. now just not be visible. Gyrus healing factor has been exponentially uh, expanded. I know. Like I just uh, tortured, tortured souls. Gamer, <laughs> out of all the things you got, you picked a fucking bean bag that always makes you comfortable. Infinite comfort. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you blame him? No, I don't. I think anyone would like a little seat that has. I would rather take the char one. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would pick the char one as well. Imagine sitting <laughs> down and everything is automatically done for you. Like, IRL is the char one for sure. Fucking that shit would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be great. Either way, moving on. I'm assuming you guys are ready to go home now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. You guys go home. Rio drives boat home. You guys get there. Blah 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 blah. And you guys go back to your map room. What do you guys do? I'll check the map. Um, I think Aviv is going to go into ringing, ringing the bell. Going to Bob was his name or something. Mm -hmm. I don't. Bob. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go okay. to Bob's store. Does anyone want to come with me? I do. I'll go okay. Over there. okay. I wonder if they have finally ac actually my order up. <laughs> and that was the scythe. Oh yeah. What did the scythe do again? I, I, I can amplify more darkness into it. Technically, the same as the gloves that it amplifies my darkness powers, but it's just more of a weapon than just a booster. Hmm. Gotcha. Rio doesn't oh, go uh... this time. He just stays. You gotta babysit the guy, Ru. Don't babysit worry, he's going, to, he's going to fucking pass out. <laughs> Good. He deserves it. Either way, you guys go to Bob? Yeah. Yes. So who goes specifically? So you, Guy, no, uh, Aviv, Xena, Knox, and William? Yep. Okay. That should be it. Sorry, I'm trying to think of how I should open this. Uh, uh, what the matter? I'll just I'll go with it. it Either way, time. I don't know. I guess the door opens. Blah 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 blah. You guys enter. Bob is there. What do you guys ask him? Yo, Bob. He just waves. What do you guys want from him, though? Hey, do you have what some is kind he spell? of? Okay. Um, as I was saying, do you have some kind of magical tool um, that could like compound two items together? Maybe like a wand of compound or something. As in, like infuse two items together? Yeah. 
Hold on. Mm -hmm. You get to, like, not pick between your swords anymore. You can now just use all of them in one sword. <laughs> I have so many weapons, and I'm like, I remembered my order because I'm writing someone... down and I looked at my notebook. Is someone playing Pizza Tower? I heard no, the No, Rat has a Rat has an Opera Pizza Tower mod, and every time and he opens that... a tab, it makes a Pizza Tower sound. Yes, we uh, can hear it, Rat. I tell you I that every just, time. I just noticed that. Yeah, no, he's never actually playing Pizza Tower. I don't own it. Continuing on. Yes, sir. Either way, Bob looks at, uh, what is it, Aviv and says, We do have a few items, but the one that you might be looking for is known as the Fusion Binder, if you want that. Oh, yes. It's an, item that I, it's an item that temporarily fuses items. They could also be separated again or permanently fused. Thank you, I, I would love to have that. Well, that'll be about 200, uh, what is it, red gems or jewels. Oh, red? That's easy. That, How many greens are, is one red again? I think 100 green would be one red. No, red is cheaper than, than green. Oh, yeah! I'm think I'm because I'm going like Legend of Zelda rules. Yeah, I would too. But you laid out the rules before, and that that was weird. Blue is yeah, like it was red, five. green, blue, and the clear one. Yeah. How did they How did they go again in the games? Oh, red. Uh, so green that was worth on one. This one what, you what you gave was red is the cheapest, green one is the second, blue one is the uh, third most expensive, and the clear one is the most expensive one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Zelda, it's green, blue, red, and then blue, Mega Rupee. I sh you guys wouldn't mind if I switched that, right? Yeah, sure. Mm, how about we switch the order now? Then? How about you don't lose the you cheapest don't lose one? Oh well, yeah, no shit. I'm thinking of switching the color so it's a lot more memorable for people. I'm thinking mm -hmm. we switch the red ones back to green because everyone knows in those games the green ones are the cheapest ones. Mm -hmm. The red ones were what, maybe ten? Yeah, I've been playing too much Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm gonna be very. Red was 20 and blue was. No, red was 10. Wait, I'm. Blue five was, blue was, blue was five. Like, green was 1, red was 10, blue. Or was it the blue green? Was, blue, blue was red. Five. Blue was definitely 5. I think so, yeah, from what I remember. Yeah. Anyways, hey, red oh. is more expensive than blue. Either way, I'll figure it out later. It's not a big deal. Either you way, pay him money. you give me the equivalent of like 200 green rubies. So oh, like, okay. the I'd say like the green ones, you have them, which I'm pretty sure that you do. Yeah, but pretty I, much the, I, have, but like, I have 60 green and then I have like a, a few thousand blue ones. 60 green? Yeah, I have it's 60 like green. The, it's like the equivalent of like blue. 60 bronze. Yeah, I know, but then I have like a few thousand blue ones. <laughs> well, you could also <laughs> give that. That works. Yeah, but like, what, was it 10 green for one blue or 100 green for one blue? I think it was... I'll Google that right now, actually. I think it was 10. And if it's 10... Then, uh, and I need to give 200 green. Uh, then I just need to give... 20 in total. Yeah, but I want to get rid of all my green ones. So, uh, first you give 14. 60, then you... Yeah. Okay. Okay, that. okay, I found it. Okay, it was the... In order, it was the green ones were worth one, the blue ones were worth five, the red mm -hmm. ones were worth 20, and then the yeah. big green ones were worth 50. I, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, I was making sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going so, by that logic? Because then we're going, my blue yeah, ones we're going, are worth way We're less. going by that logic. The thing is, in this campaign, though, like, the big green ones would just be replaced with white ones. Or clear mm -hmm. ones. That's about okay. it, really. Then I got 14 times 2, so that's 28. Yeah. So, therefore, I have 22 there. Get rid of all my greens, and there we go. 
Exactly you... enough. 24 okay. blue and 60 green rupees. Okay, that works. I guess he gives you the machine now. Xena, what do you want? Xena goes up to him and is like, Hey, do you have an item known as the soul guitar? Uh, I know where you're getting this from. Hey, I just yeah. thought of a random name. Ah, <laughs> uh, they say sure. Why do you want it? Oh, because my mother used to own an item similar to it, but I couldn't find it, so I was thinking maybe you would have something like it. They have... I guess you could say like a downgraded version of it. Like a 1.0. Like well, that works. <laughs> okay. They can give you that then for a, the equivalent of like, I'd say... Uh, does it matter? <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Yeah, I forgot a few games ago you became a millionaire, you fucking jackass. <laughs> Fuck you, first of all. Absolute <laughs> dickhead. At this point, you don't even have to- you don't even have to count your money. It's gonna take so long. Months for you to even run out. And not even months. I will have on. you know. Oh, like, I'm not even joking. They're set for the entire game. They're fine. They're rich. <laughs> so, like, keeping track of the money is just pointless. They have, like, the equivalent of, like, five point... Like, like 5.5 billion, like, white rubies. <laughs> white ruby? Oh. Yes! I am... I am... Oh, my. Fucking... Scrooge hey McDuck. gamer, can you pay for my stuff? <laughs> but you wouldn't know that. The only one who yeah, knows that is Rio. Yeah, Nox doesn't yeah. know that. Nobody here knows that other than Rio. But I find it funny <laughs> that I'm they Scrooge just McDuck. somehow became a billionaire. <laughs> Moving on though, yeah, they they do give you that item if you want the guitar. Yeah, I'll buy it. Fucking. They tell you what it can do. It says, like, uh, certain songs can access uh, the dead if you want it. Oh, well, I just needed it for memory's sake, but okay. Sure, I guess they give it to you. And Nox, what do you want? Uh, I didn't think this far. Well, then I'll let you think. I'll Wait. go to William. William, what do you want? You have my order up? They do! They have a scythe known as the Soul Reaper. Do you want it? Yes, I want it. <laughs> yeah, the Soul Reaper... Eh, it's about like... 100 white rubies. Yep, I'm uh, broke. I have zero money left. Because, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, this, uh, <laughs> that's all this... of my money. Like, I'm left with three green jewels after that. <laughs> oh, way less money. I'm thinking we change, I'm, ch I'm thinking we change the currency to rubies. I feel like you guys would like that more. It rolls off the tongue yes, more. Yes, please. Yeah, it I, I, I have, of it like I have, no, like, rubies. Teal. I yeah. have a total of mm -hmm. three green rubies after that left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll make it worth your while. This this uh, scythe comes with a few cool things. Uh, oh. Say that. So, up to Damn you it. if you still want to buy it. I, I pay it. I pay sure. it. Sure. I go Bob broke. Sells it to I pay you. it. Bob sells it to you, and mm -hmm. is, he says why, uh, he should probably warn you this sword or this uh, scythe is cursed, as in, you might have bad luck with certain stuff but it does come with another thing you can access uh, what is it called the, the the person who wields it can talk to spirits and uh what's the other item that or what is the other ability that i gave it a while back let's see oh you can summon minions to do your bidding Ooh. as well and you can summon about Depends on how much you use it. Maybe like 50 of them a day. Nice. So like... I don't know, man. It's up to you. Use it creatively, I guess. <laughs> but does it have also the darkness amplifying? It does. Nice. Is it worth 100 white rupees now? It's all of I'd... my. It's worth all of my money. Considering my darkness spell is my strongest attack spell. 
I should probably also mention the blade is uh, indestructible. It cannot break. So it's the same as a Nightbringer. It cannot be broken. Yep. Not broken. Not one bit. <laughs> I have to be indestructible. <laughs> Wait, Nox, what do you want? Um, I ask him if there's if he has like a charm, amulet, ju something like that that can repel like darkness or gloom. Which I'll have an explanation for why I need it later, but I just need it. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? I was talking to um, someone. I ask him if he has anything that can repel, like, darkness or gloom. Just like an amulet or a ring or something. Hmm. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me do some research. What do you mean by darkness? As in, like, f like shadows and night stuff? Or what? That's how I describe it. Mm, like, let's see. I don't know how to describe it, but think of darkness from the underworld. The underworld. So technically, so similar to my magic style. Mm. Yeah, basically, something that can just repel that type of magic. Let me see. Sure, actually. I can give you this one... What is it called? Is that a... Sure, fuck it. Yeah, a lantern. I can give you a lantern. Its name is Illumination, and what it can do is it can light up dark areas, and as long as it's bright, nothing can affect you in that area. Oh. Mm -hmm. Specifically... Specifically, dark stuff like darkness itself and dark magic. Nothing can affect you. And William. Okay. Power. Um. The problem is payment. Dad, uh, you are broke. You don't have money. <laughs> yeah, unless someone here, unless He's someone like, here wants to pay for it. Mm. <laughs> it's just like I'll pay for your thing. Don't worry. Yippee! Thank you, Zena. I don't know. No how to problem. You said it correctly, right, so... don't worry. Okay, good. So it's... I'd say, like, this costs, like... Mmm... Four blue rubies. Zena just throws one red ruby. <laughs> and one red ruby is, like, worth... Yeah, keep the change, uh, That's go. worth... That's, like, <laughs> worth five. Zena just is throws one... Zena just throws, like, one white. Like, like okay. Blue one the worth five, and red one worth, worth more? Oh, yeah, the red one's worth twenty, sorry. So it costs like a. Uh, it costs it, like. It literally uh, would cost than one. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, like just one white ruby. Fucking. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I was moving, but moving those, on. Though. Those who remember from original campaign, I did the same with Nicholas. I used all my money on Nightbringer. Now it's all my money on Soul Reaper. <laughs> you need to choose a weapon, it. pal. <laughs> I'm broke again. Don't you have a fuck buddy in the campaign that's a billionaire? <laughs> yeah. It's not uh, a fuck buddy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with you. Either way. Um, I wish my that... <laughs> Either way, oh. moving on. Sarah, don't we have a high heel uh, wearing tight wearing millionaire? <laughs> Either way, uh, speaking of Sarah, she is not home at the moment. Of course not. I have Emma still. No worries. She is. She is. <laughs> she's actually. I don't see. She's actually with Pop at the moment. Oh. Oh. Theory's wrong. Mhm. Mm They're talking oh, about. Fine. I still have something. Emma. <laughs> talking about something important. But moving on. You guys finally get out of the Bob area. Blah 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 blah. Damn, blah. Uh, what? Or, or, oh, sorry then. What do you want to ask him before you guys go? He was gonna ask, "Hey, uh, Bob, do you have something known as the Saint's Heart?" Saint's it's something, Heart. It's something I kind of uh need. And he, he asks you, "What does it do?" It basically gives the user very, very good healing abilities. They uh, they look in and well, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna roll for this to see if they actually have it or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
They do not, but they say they can go start looking for it if it's needed. Yeah, because I kind of need that, as I already have another one of the hearts, so that'd be nice. Thank you. They'd say they could probably start looking for it and give it to you next time you wake up. Gotcha. Is that it, though? Yep. Oh, by the way, I probably should have mentioned, hey, Rio. Mm hmm So, the queen from earlier, I'm not sure. You Does your character have a bag or anything, by any chance? Uh, he does. Why? Okay, good. Um, what is it called? Uh, the queen stuffed a giant pink puffball plushie into there because one of the people there were uh, asking for one constantly. Yay! Hey, Knox. He's gonna pass out on the floor, but... Yay! Either way, you guys leave the Bob place. What do you guys do now? Uh, well, William just turns the scene and is like, You wanna hit up for a drink? I nah. think I need to be drunk. I personally wanna go I to the to, tavern. I need to get fucking back into playing guitar. I only know the basics. You, you need to be pegged. No, no I don't need to be Not pegged. you, William. <laughs> no, I don't need to be pegged. Thank you very much. Even <laughs> though other one of the fuck bodies are away, I still have other one here if I want to get laid. Exactly. They can peg you. <laughs> I want to go uh, get a drink. I thought you were going to say, I want to be pegged. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I am willing to actually... He's going to go feed all three of his pets. First okay. thing first. Oh, by the way, William, while you're feeding, you might want to try... I notice you have way too many weapons. Uh, and since I bought this compounder thing, you can try compounding them. Uh, I'm not planning to use this before tomorrow. Anyways... Well, we can try it on on my basic weapons later. I don't want to uh, accidentally use them on the stronger ones if it fails. Oh, it's not going to be permanent. We can. Uh, uh, I don't them. trust a single magical shit before I see it work. Okay. Anyway, we, here for the evening. Have a, have, a, have a one wonderful evening. I still need a couple of things to do. Like, I'm gonna go oh, oh, play my depression away with my flute. <laughs> He goes to the room to start practicing. I just now realized that Zena was the only one who heard William shouting that I was the one who killed you. <laughs> Zena just like, don't care, fucking. <laughs> no, I thought you would do the funny. <laughs> okay, the funny. No, there was no opportunity for it. <laughs> there is now. When I hear when I hear the funny, I can't help but to think of like my character going up to Xena and doing the game game and play something out the, the Roblox thing that Z Xander me and Xander me and Aiden do <laughs> we can go back and forth god damn it what hell either way moving on uh what do you guys do now that you guys are out of uh, the place because I think William said they're going to go drink. Xena says they're yeah, going to go he's practice gonna go guitar. He, he's going to have a one drink and go play off his depression with the flute. I too wish to drink. We always <laughs> pass over the fucking library floor. Nelson picks you up and they put a gender swap potion on you. Wait, bruh! Kidding. <laughs> 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 friend, like, I would have had no problem with that. Apart from the fact that his shirt is open. Well then, fine. I guess I allow that. Like, unless if you would put the other sleeve over his shoulder, then he would technically have like a V neckline all the way to his like stomach. No. -uh. But apart from that, it's like completely open. <laughs> no. -uh. Uh, they just splash it. No, they just. No, they just put a gender swap potion on you and then take you to bed. Bro. Moving on. <laughs> Bro. Moving. Moving on, uh, Aviv, what do you do? Uh, Aviv, uh, will take out a bunch I ruined of... the machine! <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, though he really wants to. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> he put a sword in the machine with Gyru, Gyru comes out, he has like a big ass pointy fucking head, it's just like a- <laughs> <laughs> 
Why did I so, um, why did oh I start thinking about the fucking clip of the dude hit, like throwing a brick in a fucking washing machine and the uh, washing machine just breaking but that just like a beep throwing Gyro into the, the fucking machi machine? The machine <laughs> shakes. I wanna <laughs> I say the machine shakes violently exactly like the washing machine with the brick, and once it's done, it just poof stops. Yeah. Right, so what I Alvin really really comes has. out as a rectangle. Didn't have, didn't, like, didn't Alvin have to grass from William about their ring holders or something? Oh yeah, William, do you think you could like, I don't know, burn off all of the gooey things on my wing covers? Yeah, but more than likely I will I'll burn you also a little bit, so prepare no, for they're, that. They're, they're removable, so I'm just gonna take them off, and then I can burn off all the stench, and all the goo, and then I can just could, cool them off and take them on again. Alright, but uh, I, I, you put them down, he snaps his fingers towards his like, oh, now we do Roy Mustang style of flaming. <laughs> to be fair, Nox, hear me out. Look, if Jason were to... Do that to Aviv. Um, he's made of lava. I, which one do you think burns hotter, lava or fire? I don't think that's gonna end well. That's true. And on top of that, William is smarter. <laughs> I was gonna say he's an that's idiot. Also true. So like, mm. Thank you. Jason's an idiot. William probably has more of a chance of actually doing it correctly. Uh, well, yeah, we're, we'll, yeah, I'm like, we we'll create a tiny fireball to it uh, and put uh, put it on uh, and wait that all of the goo uh, gooey thing is incinerated away and then he's like, well, wait for it to cool down, then you can pick it up. Oh, it's fine, I'm gonna use some sand as insulin. Like Alright. What? Yeah, insulin? it's like, yeah, like something to like cover your hands so it doesn't burn. Like, insulin. um, isn't that what it's called? Mm hmm. Yeah. Is there yeah, anything sorry. else that anybody else wants to do? Uh, I just got confused because right. insulin also means like the thing that I need to live as a diabetic. Oh. Yeah. I um, think after a little bit of train, a little bit of playing the fluid volume goes to train absolutely living f fuck out of his fire spell. That's fine, I guess. Either oh, way, I'm gonna make sand oh, cones. Okay. What's up? Zena like takes off the eyeball gauntlet and is like, hey. Can you move on your own? <laughs> like, it starts to let's like skedaddle its fingers, and it, it, you put it on the ground, and it actually starts to walk on itself by itself. Kind of like um, you guys ever watch the show, or do you guys know the show, uh, The Adams Family? Yes. Yeah. Are you talking yeah, about the hand? fucking hand? Pretty much like that. The fucking hand from it. Mm -hmm. You know, just like picks it up and is like, do you have a name? Proceeds to grab like a pen or something and put a piece of paper down. <laughs> uh. Dude, see if it can write. Uh, well, it doesn't have a name, but it has the name of its past user on it, and it's just Billy. I think they just call it, okay, I guess I'll just call you Billy. Billy. Billy Eilish. No, not <laughs> Billy Eilish. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Holy yeah, shit, it's like Billy Eilish. A new fire spell. I have their way. You would click the title Zina? for the campaign. Billy Eilish has have... joined the team. <laughs> Billy Eilish oh, no. joined the team. better one in voice, please. Mm. <laughs> Either way, that should be the end of the cam or the session today. And I promise you, literally, next session will most likely be a main plot thing. Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's try Very to big. side. side uh, oh, yeah, too. I'll just. Well. I'll give you the names of but, the other two parts yeah, like, Xena needs. Mm hmm You can give them to gotcha. me at, at some point. The uh, name of what? So teal. The other yeah. hearts. Gotcha. Yes? Yeah, like the... Technically this new spell of what they're trying to learn. Do you remember the attack what King used against Luffy? Not Luffy, King. Zoro? King. King. The fire circles behind him and so on. Oh. I don't remember the name, but yes, I remember what it looks like. Yeah, uh, he's trying to create similar to that. <laughs> gotcha. Fire circle. Gotcha. Either way, I'm more excited for next session, because next session will be a main plot thing. I'm excited for it too, because I get to become a medic. <laughs> hey, Rio is a medic as well. He just has to... I, I, 
I can Instagram. heal also, but I just don't do that. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to, I'll say you guys are going to a ghost ship. Ooh. Whoa! Brooke! Whoa. Let's go. Brooke! Wait, oh, I gotta Brooke. go actually, Fire. I'm actually- Wait, do we get to have, like, little glass domes on our head? Uh, I don't need any. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, <gasps> ghost ship? Yes, ghost I, ship. I'm having a soul yeah. reaper. <laughs> Come I'm, here, you little souls. <laughs> I'm bringing Maxwell. Max, the cat. Sorry, I, <laughs> I was about I to do the same thing. I have now two cursed weapons. One who, what I can get rid of because it's now legitimately bounded to me, which is the Nightbringer, and the other one what brings me funny, funny stuff. I have mm. funny guitar and funny gauntlet. <laughs> yes. You have a funny broken guitar as well. <laughs> That one is funny for different reasons. The other two are just funny because funny. By the way, that should be it for now. <sighs> oh, I, gotta I can't wait for Aviv to finally learn some fucking enchantments, Teal. I know, well, I'm sorry, okay? okay? I've been asking for like five sessions at this point. I'm sorry, I promise next session. If we, if you remind mm -hmm. me, literally, like, before we even start, I will promise you we can actually do that. Okay, the day before or the the day that it's happened? The day before. Okay. I promise you. Okay. You're free to slap Deal. him if he doesn't. That is true, you can slap me. Get on Roblox slapping contest simulator. <laughs> I will slap you. Or I can just get in VR and you can slap me there. I don't have my VR headset right now. So Damn it's gonna it. be on Roblox. Or you can just uh, slap me IRL. I will yeah, don't there. worry. I'm gonna bring him to you. I'm gonna bring him to you when it comes to Finland. And then slap it so hard. Oscar, I'm gonna so. bring him to... Uh, not Sweden, North, uh, Norway. North Norway. Norway when he comes North over, North. so you're free to slap him as much as you want. Yes, I live in North. I, I love <laughs> North Norway. North oh, Norway. By the way, what were you, uh, like the way, what were you gonna see, William? Like the, uh, because we ended already. I, I'm like, oh, yeah. Henry, you wanna move on another chat, or I don't think any progress. But think what you missed. You guys started celebrating. Oscar's character got fucked by this uh, tall wolf boy. Uh, what was that? In his campaign. My, my campaign. In our my campaign. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> your, your, character, your character once again topped uh, Alex's character <laughs> once again. Fucking hell. And Lilith left the party. You know, that one was like going to happen that was funny <laughs> that's funny though yeah, Lilith, Lilith left the party but you topped oscar got <laughs> fucked and they're just they have chastity belt on also <laughs> yeah. you. can i ask you something teal that i now just realized uh what what the fuck is jason going to do with rio don't worry about it i'm worrying about it i want to know before we end nah yes he <laughs> said nah. it yeah, huh? Okay, I, I want know. you to use your your interpretation skills because he used a gender swap potion and then quote unquote took you to the bedroom. Think about it. He's fucking dead. <laughs> he's passed out. And gotta need to use that something something. He's definitely gonna. He's definitely gonna wake them up really quickly for something like that. <laughs> oh my god! You're, like you're not fucking so, you. Those are not even together. When we all lost our virginity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get fucked. <laughs> Uh -huh. they got the I mean, uh, uh, who, two who aren't together so has to fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because couldn't escape for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if it's more innocent between Aviv and Haru. Rio, like, uh, let me, like, it's Aviv. Aviv, 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 Aviv. Uh, let me tell you one thing. Rio, only thing, sexual things he knows is what a blowjob is. Apart from that, and he's a and like he has ordered twice a and drink he's called about sex to on the learn beach. more. Like he's ordered yep. twice a drink called Sex on the Beach, and both of the times, Delson yeah, almost fucking took him so away because he was like, "I right, okay." Look at Zeno barely understands well, what sex is. Okay, you guys technically wa Not wants to have a good laugh no about that. about what's happening on my campaign. So they had a fashion show yep. where Oscar's character met this hot dude and obviously they went and banged why am i not surprised that it's a dude 
Of course, course it's a demon. demon. It technically Why looks like a Risley. Oh, don't fucking do it with my boy like that. No. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> and, uh... Gamers characters had a curse on them at one point, technically a charm, <laughs> that they had to obey this one f one woman's every Mushed. order if they heard their voice. They had Mushed to eat their escape 24 hours, uh, or ten, uh, and the second part they uh, went to ask for Incubus to help to deny uh, the charming spell, but the uh, spell sex problem had. had that uh, Xena had to have oh had sex. Not Xena, like, Silver. Uh, gamers character. No, no, Silver, yeah, sorry. I just read your name quickly there. Fucking, <laughs> which was just hilarious. But yeah, like gamers' character have to had sex, and Alex's character volunteered on that. <laughs> I mean, there were other volunteers also, but they're only one who is close on the age gap. Like Haru is hundred years old, uh, Daniel's character is nineteen years old, <laughs> and these two are like thirty or something. They're both twenty nine. <laughs> Tundra, Heavenly Potato Cool, said, Boobus. You can find me in the club, bottle full of book. Mama, I got what you need if you need to fill a book. I mean, I have the sex, I ain't in the making love. So come give me a hug, you're getting rough.